Buenas Sara. Happy Manic Monday to all our rock star listeners and viewers. ZazRadio.com proudly presents Stripped Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show starring Lenny and Lucia. Go with, with the, the flow, flow anything, anything goes. goes. What's going on there, Lucia? What's going on, Lenny? Hello, everyone. Hello to our rock star listeners Sign out on. there. Let's see who's on here. What's going on, everybody? Let's see who. Of course. What? Lucia loves here. So, <laughs> so ridiculous. Hi, April. So Hi, Joanne. What's going on, guys? Bona Sera. Rosanna. What's up, Rosanna? Nice to see you. How you doing? So. So. You're here on this beautiful, beautiful night. Why is it beautiful? Because it was just a beautiful day today. Like, it was like a perfect day. Like, just sunny. Really? 85. Beautiful. And what did you do? Oh, I had to work, but. You had to work, okay. Of course. Okay. I know some people think I don't work, but. Some people I think I uh -oh. work all a lot. Okay. But and, and what do you do there, Lucia? I think everyone knows what I do, Lenny. Oh, mention it to them. For the people that don't know. For anyone that doesn't know. That's it. I... Troublemakers in the house, Joe Bastoni! What's up, Joe? <laughs> and Sue? What's up, Sue? What's up, John? Uh, I am a fitness trainer. I teach fitness classes. And I also do real estate, real estate sales, but that's it. I don't know what that means, but whatever. The, it's the outline <laughs> of the house. Oh, it? okay. Okay. <laughs> Steven, what's up, Steven? What's up, sis? Karen, Karen. D. Pasquale. Like, I call her sis, though. And of course, Joanne Machetta is in the house. I always say hi, Joanne. Positive vibes, always. You know how we do it, Lenny and Lucia. Well, we gotta put it over here, baby. Positive vibes. Positive vibes. Is it though? See? Always positive vibes. Positive vibes and love for all everyone. Now okay. it's a party, Joe. Now it's a right. party. Yeah, it's a party. Of course, like and share, everyone. Jacqueline, what's up, Jacqueline? What's up, Rosanna? It was, you know what? It was actually a beautiful day today, correct? Yes, it was. And it was a beautiful day. What did we do over the weekend? Well, Friday we chilled. And then Saturday, I went to Jersey, to mm -hmm. Wayne, New Jersey. And my brother-in-law, uh, Robert Rotella, yes. Yes. his brother... Anthony Rotella is a sales manager of Wayne Ford. So I got my new truck. Well, Ford good. Explorer. So I was really excited about that. What's up, yeah. Dean Renzi in Joe, the house? Joe, thank you. Thank you. Shout out to the Renzi Appreciate family. Appreciate that. Lenny's wearing flamingos on his shirt. Just it, so you know. Are they? Yes. What is Lenny wearing on his shirt? Is Tommy Smooth I'm here? I'm about to make the flamingos dance. You ready? Watch me. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Snotty. Tommy Smooth, can't wait to sing with you guys. Tommy in Smooth! September, Lucia Love will be singing so, on the Dynamic Duo show. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And in September, it's like right around the corner. I know, I can't very wait. Very cool, very wait cool. To sing. Shout out to Eric Renzi, Brandon Renzi, and Mr. and Mrs. Renzi. How are you? Everyone, Dean, my brother, what's going on? Of course, Yakus PD is in the house. That's right, we are coming to you live from my hometown, City of Yonkers, New York. And we are broadcasting all around the world on ZazRadio.com. But right now, we're, broadcast, we're broadcasting live on Facebook, okay? And uh, Stripped is presented to you by ZazRadio.com, the ultimate internet smash-up. Dance radio station and Rockstar listener experience in the world. In the world, that's right, Lucia. Also, I wanted to let me just move this because it fell on the floor. 
Okay. Also want to uh, let everybody know, I, I think I had mentioned before, but I want to tell everybody again, I just mm -hmm. um, been working on our YouTube channel and I have about, I think about almost all of our videos up of all our shows. Mm -hmm. So just subscribe to our channel, please, so we can get as many subscribers as we can. Go to Stripped Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show. That's the title. I had to put the whole title. I know it's really long, but that's the name of our show, so I had to put the whole title. So just click on there and just click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get all the notifications when we have a new video. Bing! Bing! Or as Ralph would say on the one... to our channel. Boof! I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to uh, write it down. Okay, and yeah. I'll, uh... Well, I did a, I did a post. Before okay. the show to remind them. So awesome. Yeah. So once again, sh subscribe to our YouTube channel, everybody. Strip Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show, and that's it, right? Yes. And you basically put all the videos up there and everything. I put all our shows up there. Oh, cool. But I think I have two more to put up, and then I'm just gonna put a little. You know, videos of like funny, silly things we did okay. when we were like on the road or, you know, oh, stuff that's like cool. that. So they can just laugh. Well, you know what? That's us. important. Elliot, what's up? Elliot Florin, Robin Levine Florin. Once again, congratulations on your beautiful granddaughter. Um, shout out to, of course, Derek Florin. Monday Madness is in full effect right after us. Um, so everybody follow Derek Florin. And Lucas Florin, um, Joe Bonora's in the house, Brian Nolan, Feliciano, what's going on? What's going on, Kate? Elliot, Elliot up, Florin, Kate? Lucas Florin, did That's you right. say that? Yes. Oh, you did, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I just said it, Prim. Sorry. Johnny Success. Love, DJ Chaz. <laughs> I get him after you. That's why. I don't understand. Oh, do you? Okay. Wendy, so every, what's up, Wendy Gomez? So everybody, kindly share, like, and follow our pages. We appreciate it. And um, like I said, Saturday, I got my new truck, mm -hmm. and uh, they definitely took care of me. It was nice beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful truck. Yeah, um, it's, nice. it's great because you know I was I had back in the day since 1999, I had like seven Tahoes, Chevy Tahoes, and I love. A truck, you know, I love the truck, mm -hmm. so I went caravan back in the day, and then I just went, you know, to a Lincoln, you know, okay. MKX, and I really love the Lincoln. But I tell you, it really is awesome to go back to a truck, you know, you feel it's good. A big truck, yeah. Well, it's, it's a nice. decent sized it's truck, nice. you know, I mean, it's no, you I know, like. but I'm used to, I'm used to the truck. So, Elizabeth mom. Santiago's in the house. What's up? I'm getting a new car in. Probably in December because they're gonna have mm -hmm. their big winter fest, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna upgrade my car. Oh, cool! Yeah, so That's I'm awesome. excited. And about she that. she drives a Mercedes. Excuse excuse me, their Mercedes. Girl. I only have the Mercedes C class because okay. that's like. I want love to go up to like the E class. That's mm -hmm. the next one, and eventually the SL, SL five hundred is my dream Mercedes, but that's a little high in the car payment. <laughs> But I like to, I'm going to, this is my fourth Mercedes. And I just, I always say to all my friends, once you drive a Mercedes, it's like you can't drive anything else. Yeah. So, because you get in there, it's such a smooth ride. Yeah, nice. And I was fortunate to get my first one because I got a really extremely good deal in Long Island. And after that, once you have one, you can keep like upgrading. So oh, cool. I'm excited to get my new one in December. In I December, cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, three years with this truck. I'm psyched, and if anybody needs a truck, uh, we have two places. First one is one of our amazing sponsors, Zazraya.com, and our Zazraya.com uh, launch party in 2018. That is Ford of Mayapak. Mayapak Ford, and that's Lenny Kenora. So if you guys need anything in Westchester, but if you need anything in Jersey, we have Wayne Ford. So we have two places. We always have to shout out Lenny Kenora. He's a big supporter, and he's part of Zazri.com as well. We're going to do our Southern Rock Sundays coming very soon okay. with Lenny Kenora, and he is the proprietor and owner of, uh, you know, Mayapak Ford and Ford of Mayapak. Cool. So, okay? Joe, you're too funny. Why do you got to leave early? Don't leave us. Don't leave us. Tia Maria Montemiro is in the you house. What's up, friend? Don't leave. And Elizabeth Santiago, we have to shout out our cake girl. 
Yes. ExquisiteCakeArt.com. Check her out. She is actually our cake girl who did our boombox cake for our Zazzery.com launch party in 2018. So, I also would like to say yeah. happy birthday to my cousin Eileen. Today's her birthday. Happy birthday to you, Eileen. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, you. Eileen. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Dear Eileen. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. And also, over the weekend, Some celebrating jacket. birthday is my cousin Kathy and my cousin Warren. So happy Good birthday stuff. to you guys too. I know uh, they had a big celebration for that. So. Very nice. I believe it's Joey Gato's birthday. Okay. So happy birthday happy to Joey birthday, Gato. Joey. Um, and uh, I think there's one more I'm forgetting. I once they had a guy named Joe. Joey. He was, we used to call him Jersey Joey. Jersey Joey. How you doing, <laughs> Jersey Joey? All right. So let's see here. Andrew Sergio, what's going on, everybody? Like I said, Robert, what's going on? Everybody, without a doubt. Share, share, share. And if we want to, of course, shout out Brooklyn's own DJ Chaz, as well as our beautiful friend and my partner, G2. What's up, G2 and Gina Marie? Hi, G2 and Gina So, Marie. ladies, we love you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, what time is it, babe? It's well, first, Sunday, time we just for... chilled. And I, hold on, hold on. So, I, because I want to go right into this. Okay. And I, okay. So, Sunday, I've been watching, and I've been telling her about it. Oh, yeah, I watched it. I started... I'm the one that showed you the, the Shark Week Discovery Channel, yes. and then you saw it. Oh, well, wait a second. You would have seen it. Before. Wait a second. I've been watching really Discovery was. Channel. Know why? Hello, Jacka. Okay. Thank you. Because they do it... What's that song? From Discovery Channel. They do I it like it's... A, remember that song that. back in the day? Uh, they do um, it like Discovery Channel. So anyway, so know, Sunday... Like, so Sunday... Uh, I think it was last Sunday. They uh, started it. They started yeah. Serengeti. It, it's actually an epic uh, family event. It's on Discovery Channel. And in, I didn't realize Serengeti is actually a... In Africa. It's in Africa, but it's a... a I'm very smart. It, no, but it's a national park in Africa. Don't let the blonde hair fool you. Oh, okay. Okay. So anyway, my penguins are talking right now. <laughs> so Joe Trees, what's up, Joe Trees? So ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to do something a little different. Okay. And, I, and I always love to do things that have significance. Yep. So that's important. So, significance. Significance. So important. so I've been watching this Serengeti on you know Sunday Discovery Channel 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to um, liquor fellas, my friend Joe on Central Avenue, shout out to them. And I bought this the wine of the week. So, okay. are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. Is everybody ready? It because is it is the uh, wine of the week. The wine of the week. Of the week. Grab that glass. glass. Cheers, salute. salute. And I have a seat. seat. It's, it's the wine of the week. The, the wine of the week. week. So, as I was saying, this wine is really cool. And I'm going to show everybody. It actually has a lion on the front. And it's actually called Juggernaut Hillside Cab. Uh, $22 a bottle. Like I said, go to Hybrid Shopping Center. It's actually H Mart, H -Mart Shopping Center. Mm -hmm. It's on Central Avenue in Yonkers, New York. And our friends, uh, liquor fellas, okay? okay? Um, this is where I actually got it. And, um, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I just, I do want to mention that our show is sponsored by Cafe Classico in Yonkers, New York, Midland Avenue. Our friends Dominico and Antoinette. It's a taste of Italy. You guys have to check out Cafe Classico. We were there. Yes. The cannolis were yes, uh, phenomenal. We had a nice, uh, antipasto. The drinks are phenomenal. Everybody treats you like, like a king, queen, or princess. I just want to That's shout nice. out Carlo Russo, Lou Greco, Uncle Louis Variety Show just joined us. Vinny Dice, Dawn Bryan. Let's see who else. And very cool, very cool. Teresa Caravello. Then I get mine too late, though. All right. All right, so for... So hold on. So I want to okay. show everybody. Okay. Actually, I'm going to get up. And show everybody the uh Tommy Smooth's gonna see the shorts. 
So there you go. Yeah, you got the shorts. What's up, Bruno? You got the flamingo. Thanks for joining us. So where are we? Let me see. Let's see. Can I see it? Um, Can I see on. it clear? I'm delayed. Let's see. I'm always delayed. So there's, the, yeah, there you go. How cool is that? Oh, yeah, no, there you I go. Okay, cool. All right. So that is the Juggernaut Hillside okay. Cab. Juggernaut. Okay. All right. And I'm looking very forward to... What's up, Fatima? Cheers. Salute to everybody, okay? Okay. So, of course, don't forget, oh, Cafe Cl Classico in the house. Uh, our sponsor of tonight. And don't forget. What? August 24th. Lou Greco. Carlo Russo. Tony Napoli Events. Royal Rinci Hotel. The venue. 9 p.m. Nice. Get your tickets at. The Uncle Louie Variety Show dot com. Get ready for that. That's okay. going to be a fun. All right. So here we go. Okay. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen. And of week. course. We want everybody. All right. To come out of the craziness of the world. Okay? The world is very crazy. Very crazy world, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of crazy people out there. Very much so. And we want you to come into our world. And this to be a really fun outlet for you for two hours. 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Every Monday on Facebook Live. Lenny and Lucia Strip Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show. Okay. Now on YouTube, but you can watch our videos whenever you want. That's it. So thank you so much for doing that. Of You're course. a big. Uh, that was a that was a big thing, and and you were like, you know what? I want to get that going. I was like, oh, that's so cool. It took forever. Yeah. Yeah, done because <laughs> so I'm very. Boring. One thing about me, I'm very determined. Like that's if it. I can't do something, I will sit there. If it takes me all night. I would figure it out, yeah. and I didn't know how to, I had point. to convert videos, I had to upload, but I figured it out, it took me like two hours to figure it out, and then all night long to like three in the morning uploading, but <laughs> now, I, now it goes quick, because I, shout out, quick. shout out to Vinny Finnegan, and the whole entire Finnegan, and, and uh, Spano family, we love you guys, Tony Spano, Eva, the Finnegans, uh, our, of course, City Yonkers Mayor, Mike Spano, his beautiful wife. Uh, Mary Calvi and the whole entire family. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We want you to grab that Bad glass best. of vino. Shake that martini up. Shake up that martini. And pop open that beer, preferably from... Yonkers Brewing Company, our friend John Rubo. Our friend John Rubo and his beautiful wife, Dawn Rubo. And we want you to come out of the craziness of the world and come and... Hang out with us for two hours. So you guys ready to have some fun? Here we go. Ladies first, always. Hey, Joey Elvis in the building. Joe Q in the building. And Diana, thank you for listening to us on your way back from the Hamptons. How cool. Oh, Joey Elvis, don't forget, on Friday, Friday is a very, very sad day, but we have to celebrate because Friday was the day we lost the king. This Friday? Friday is the anniversary of Elvis Presley's death. Good. So I will be posting wow. a whole bunch of things on my page about Elvis. And I will be listening to his music all day and night. Not that I don't do that anyway, but <laughs> I will just be honoring the king on Friday. And I might go to karaoke and sing Elvis all night. <laughs> and right. dedicate it to him. So God, God bless the king. God bless uh, there was only one. There's only one. Um, and the lion. Who's the lion? Me. I'm the lion. That's why, again, the significance. You're not the lion, you're the Gemini. I am the lion. <sighs> not the in the zodiac stuff. Anyway, I, I am the lion. I so that's why I want to get this too. There's you know there's a lot of gentlemen that are lions out there, and okay. do do you guys be lions and you beautiful ladies, lionesses? Okay. Do you? Or cougars. Wow! I'm, I, I'm not a cougar. No, I said I there, we have be, a lot of cougars out there, too. Think, I don't know what I would be. Yeah, but, so we also have some chips here. We have a little food medley. Uh, something we put together. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen. Just take a little. Ooh, this smells good. And this is actually uh, brought to you by Bogle. 
Uh, let me let me read a little something. Of course, okay. it has salt fights. Um, oh no, it does. Yeah, of course. Headache most, city. <laughs> most of them. I try to get mine that doesn't have salt fights. You know, I, don't I know just headache. want to see the tones. But Bogle, Bogle tones. doesn't have salt fights. No, well, guess so what? So they shouldn't either. Because the last time I bought it, it didn't. Produce the bottle. Okay, of all right, let's drink here. Talk about California. <laughs> we don't want to leave. 14.5% What's alcohol. up, Bella Marie? How I are you? Contains sulfites, 750. Let's see okay. Here. Are you here, ready? The cork is really cool, too. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is to everyone's, all our rock star listeners and viewers. Wait, I almost dropped it. Health, happiness, and of course, L-O-V-E, love. That's it, love. All right. Always look guy there, Daniel son. Miyagi, always look guys, Daniel son. It's good. I like it. Has like blackberries in it or a nice very, woo, smooth too. It's very strong. It's strong. Fun. It's definitely a full body cab, everybody. Guys, Hi. you're gonna like this. Look who Michael Lewis, what's up, what's Michael up? Lewis? That's right, we always have to shout our Brooklyn friends yes, and our family. Of Willie DeMayo, oh, mybrooklynbrand.com. Of course, Chris DeMayo with Metanoia, okay, or Metanoa, attire.com, all about God and faith. M E T A N O I A A T T I R E dot com. Okay. Michelle Francesco's and Nick Francesco's American Made Contracting. And of course, Michelle Francesco's Entertainment Agency. I love that word, April. Young Malicious. Michael. Love it. Ooh, I like love that. It. Michael Lewis. Can I steal that one? I love it. Michael love Lewis it. and Anthony Asante. Of course, wiseguywear.com. And wisegirlwear.com, cologne and perfume. I'm wearing, of course, the wise guy wear. It's amazing. And um, I want to I want to shout out my. I have the most amazing friends in the world, and I wanted to just shout, shout them out. Shout them out. My friend, uh, Jeannie, who lives in uh, Florida. We've been friends since. What we up, Jeannie? 19. A Ooh. long time we've been friends. And my my two friends here, Mike and Jill, who I lo absolutely love so much. And my friend Allie, but she's not here. She's still in Italy. Lucky oh. her. Oh, yeah. What's Which up, Allie? I was Allie? in Italy with her. <laughs> All right, I so, just wanted to shout them out. That's very nice. Okay. Of Hold on. Diana D'Amico, Vinny Finnegan. Melanie, what's up? Oh, Lou Greco's in the house. What's up? What's up? Well, Joe, if you go on YouTube... Steven. And you watch our videos, you can fast forward through the parts, you know, like... Kathy Casal. <laughs> and you can fast forward. Brian Treglio, what's up? That's what's cool about YouTube. Battle on me. Commercial free. Imagine what's if we it? had commercials. Our show would be like four hours. I didn't make, oh, my God. <laughs> Uda, what's up? Joni, how are you? George Rivera, we just want to shout out everybody. Thank you. <laughs> April Trombino, we love you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It is time for, for the, the first topic of, of the night. night. Let's do it, it right. right. It is the first topic, topic of the night. night. Lucia, let's, let's do, do it, it right. right. So, ladies and always, gentlemen, I always do it right. You always do it right. The same. All right, so there you go. Um, the first topic, the yes. first question is, what is something? that you worked really hard for and you wanted it so bad for yourself that you just kept working and saving mm. and when you got it you just felt so amazing because you were so proud that that it, you worked for this you waited for it you wanted it so long so mm. what is something that that you wanted so bad and you worked hard for it. And you worked hard and you got it finally. And you, got it. and you felt amazing when you got it. So I'll let you guys think about that. What is something you worked hard for? Uh love you too, April. Um yeah. hmm. So it's something you wanted really bad. You worked hard for it and you finally got it and it was so amazing. What is something you worked hard for and you got it? I have a few things. That yeah. I can think of, but I like I'm this go one. Go first. Um, you know what? I'm gonna kick it back. I'll go first. Okay. 
years ago, my father used to live in, well, he used to live in, um, I'm putting a comment right now, okay. okay. So, my father used to live in Morris Park in the Bronx, New York. Yes. Okay. And he used to run, um, I think he was part owner of uh, Exxon Station, right across the street from the hospital. Mercy, mm -hmm. uh, I think it was. And um, he also lived in City Island, New York. Okay? okay. And he ran a um, for yacht sales. So I used to go see him, mm -hmm. right, you know, right on City Island. And um, I used to wake up, I used to go down and rip out engines out of cigarette boats and carver yachts with him and get my hands dirty. Okay. And, and I thought, it'd be easy street, you know, that's all we had to do. Right. So he would finish up and he would say, now you have to go to work at Artie's in City Island at the restaurant as a busboy. I know, Artie. Uh, I was like, huh? So, I'll never yeah. forget, one summer, and it was really awesome. I, of course, um, I saved up, and I got a Tama Swing Star set for myself at Sam Ash on, uh, on America Avenue in White Pines. Okay. And I saved up, and I bought a drum set. Nice. You play drums? I played drums. Okay. Yeah, at the time. Okay. You still know how to play? I do. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was a roadie for a wedding band okay. when I was a kid. I used to, of course, break down and set up mm -hmm. and, and actually uh, hang out for the cool. whole entire time. And I got paid $20. So it was eight, yeah, it was eight hours, but I learned about the whole entire business and everything. Mm -hmm. And that's how I. So it's so funny because I worked so hard for that drum set. And then you got it. And, and it I felt amazing. And I felt awesome. I know how to play piano. Do you? Yeah. You? Really? Yeah. yeah That's do. pretty cool. I do. It's pretty cool. Um, so what did you do? Well, let me just do a couple of, read a couple of our And I eventually viewers. sold it to get my DJ equipment. <laughs> it's so crazy Let me enough. just uh, read our viewers and then I'll tell them. Dominico! So Dawn Bryant says, my house. Bella Marie says, my health. Mm -hmm. April said, before having a child, I'd save 300 every two months for my shopping sprees. Very every nice. two months. We, yes, it's all about me. I love shopping. I hear you. I'm a shopaholic, too. Joe said, eighth grade newspaper route and cut grass. and saved to buy a pair of blue Puma Clyde sneakers. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, you know what? Why, how much were they? I would love to have a little show and tell. That's cool. I would love to That's be able cool. to see them. So, ladies and gentlemen, our sponsor just checked in. Cafe Classico, 887 Midland Avenue in Yonkers, New York. A taste of Italy. Go by and check out Cafe Classico. Our good friends, Dominique. Hello. And Dominique. Antoinette. The food is absolutely delicious. Tell them, of course, Lenny and Lucia mm -hmm. sent you. From Strip Hello. Live World Radio yeah. Interactive Talk Show. Hello, guys. So we want everybody to uh, say hello to Dominic and Antoinette, the owners of Cafe Classico. And go by 887 Middle and Avenue. You guys will not believe it. They have a beautiful backyard. Yes. Uh, and you once you go into the place, it's like you're in Italy. Yes, it's, it's very nice. It's really yeah. nice. The food Hi, is delicious. Tia. How are you? What's up, Tia? Shout out to events by TiaMaria.com. So, I have to say that. Mine, too. Mine is uh, yours? my house because when I when I got married, me and my ex husband, we, we were saving before mm -hmm. we had the wedding because mm -hmm. we wanted to buy a house right away. Mm -hmm. So we saved all our money. We bought this. It was our first house. I was a lot younger at the time. And. We bought this house that was, pra it was a foreclosure, and it needed so much work. We bought the house, and I worked day and night to make this house into, like, the house of my dreams. We, mm -hmm. I learned how to do spackling. Mm -hmm. I learned how to do sponge technique in the bathroom. And basically, we worked on it together. I mean, mm -hmm. the house had holes in the floor, holes in the wall. Mm -hmm. But after we were done, I mean, the house looked amazing. And I was just so proud of myself that I did that. I was like, wow, I just 
breathe, I just breathed it out, else. you know? So that was like my, my, I guess the best one, yeah, because I have other ones. <laughs> But that one was my favorite. That's awesome. Princess, what's up? Princess Dawn Brian, what's up, Dawn? Bella Marie. So, let's see. What else? So, what is something... We're still on the first topic, which what is something you always wanted. Shit. And you worked really hard or saved really long to mm -hmm. get it. And yes. then when you finally got it, it was just like your... It was like the amazing feeling. Yeah. Biagio, what's up, Biagio? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you can check out Biagio's music on iTunes. Check him out, B-I-A-G-I-O, our beautiful friend. He has a phenomenal voice, and he's actually, um, it, it, it's unbelievable. He's, he just did a, a song with Mad Stuntman. I like to move it, move it. Oh, really? And so, yeah, so that that's going to cool. be viral very, very shortly. Very um, cool. He actually did the... Uh, um, he was down at uh, San Gennaro, mm -hmm. uh, the feast in New York City. He was out there. It was was San Gennaro didn't start yet? Huh? He started no, he did it last year. Oh, last, last year. year. Yeah, okay. so check out his music. Check, check out Cadillac Chris Ruggiero's music. iTunes, I got to go to San Gennaro yeah. this year because one of my good friends is in the cannoli eating contest. <laughs> oh, so cool. So we have to cheer him on, all the friends. Yeah, fun. Biagio's great. Sherry Manzella, Bruno Trani, what's up? And, uh, of course, you can check out his music also on ZazRadio.com. We have a flashback works, work mix Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on ZazRadio.com. Taking you back, all dance classics and freestyle, good stuff. Everybody kindly like and share. Oh, sports car, really? Oh, you saved for a sports car? That's very cool. cool. Very That's cool. cool. So I have another one as well. I was married um, 1997, mm -hmm. and prior... That's when I got married. We saved September 21st, 1997. August 17th. Okay. So 921. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, remember, I remember it like it yesterday, because we saved up for a couple of years. Right. And it was, you know, very strict. Every week, we mm -hmm. put, you know, put money away into the bank account. Of course, we had a joint account. And uh, we put that money for the wedding. Yeah. And uh, it was a lot of money. A lot it of is, money. It, it was is. a lot of money. My dad paid for my wedding, which was so nice. Of and him. and we we actually got married. We had 175 people at the surf club in Nurshell. Nice. We had the whole place because it was not, there was no upstairs. Oh, so, cool. yeah, so it was just the whole place. And then we went to Greece for almost three weeks. That's nice. We went to the Greek island. a long honeymoon. Yeah. Nice. Uh, we went to... Um, of course, Athens. We flew into Athens. And then Mykonos my shoe. and Crete. She has to fix her shoe. Erwin, what's up, Erwin? Okay. E, what up, E? Um, so, so, first topic, what is something you worked hard for and got it, and you're really, really happy, you know, you got it? You know? I actually, I actually really cool when I got married, because um, I'm, like everybody knows, I'm a big fan of, like, old movies and everything. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite movies is Gone with the Wind, so... Oh, God. And I have a thing for lighthouses, gazebos. So when I got married, I actually rented a mansion, a Victorian mansion in oh, wow. uh, New Canaan, Connecticut. And you rent it for the day. And it's really, it's really not as, as bad. It's not as expensive as you think. Because you, you rent the entire place. Mm -hmm. So there's nobody there. Okay. So you're, it's only one wedding at a time. So you have the whole place, the grounds. You just have to bring in your own caterer, music, everything like that. So... I mean, it was absolutely gorgeous, and uh, I went back a couple of years ago because I wanted to just see the because I love the grounds. Like you could walk around there. In it's New like Canaan, one. Connecticut. Yeah, it's beautiful yeah. there. Connecticut. There's some parts of Connecticut beautiful. It's so beautiful, and they yeah. had a gazebo outside, and I had to get special permission to have the priest marry me on the grounds because it wasn't in the church. Oh wow! So you had to like we had to go through like well, listen, pain off, <laughs> you know, because I wanted to get married there onto the gazebo. There's. Good and bad and everything, you know, and everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, you know, listen, every place has its good and bad. And the same thing with Connecticut. Hi, Franny Fran. Oh, you're beautiful, my friend. Gone with the Wind is an all-time favorite of mine. Watch that long movie about a hundred times. Hey, April. bro, see, if you were here, we can hang out and watch What's Gone up, with Franny the Wind Fran? together and cry and get the tissues out. <laughs> God forbid. Please, but Lord. you know what I Help think? Because everybody knows at the what? end... I really believe that Scarlett got him back. 
Mm -hmm. I know Scarlett was going to get him back in the end. To this day. She got him back. Really? She to said tomorrow is another day. Mm -hmm. And he left her. Mm -hmm. And you didn't think he, that's it. He said goodbye. <laughs> I'm leaving you. But she stood there and she said tomorrow is another day. As God is my witness. I know she got him back. Yeah? Well, there was no part two, but I'm pretty sure she got him back. Like gone with the wind? Yes. What, when was it, like, what, 40s, 50s? I think that was in the 40s, yeah. Was it? Okay. Well. It was, like, a real big deal back then because they spent so much money on, like, locations and sets and everything. Mm. Okay. And the, um, you know, the, the wardrobe and everything. Oh, oh yeah, of you course. Know, she had those big dresses. And she was beautiful, Vivian Lee. Really? What a, what a beautiful woman. So, I had an ex-girlfriend, actually. She was determined. <laughs> I know. I had an ex-girlfriend. I love her. I'm going to be like Scarlett. <laughs> Lisa Ravitelli. my name to Scarlett. Cara, what's up, Lisa? And Dor Bryant and Tom Dwyer, thank you so much I for checking I think I'm a in. lot like Scarlett O'Hara because I'm Always. very determined. When I set my mind on something, uh -huh. I usually get it. Really? And I think I should change my name to Scarlett. <laughs> Lenny and Scarlett. Why do I have to go through this, Lord? I think I Deborah, should. No, I'm going to change Lucia, my name to Scarlett, Scarlett O'Hara. <laughs> God help me. Please, Lord, help, okay. help me, please. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, Sorry. I had the had the pleasure. Oh, wait, Joseph J Joseph Gato just joined us. So say happy birthday, Joe. Joey Gato, what's up, Joey okay, Gato? Go ahead. go ahead, you had the pleasure. I had the pleasure of watching all five hours of Sound of Music, Okay. And let me just tell you. You tell me that. Well, I have to tell you, it was a very touching uh, movie because it was significant to her because she was, you know, she lost her dad and her I mom. I never saw that. And movie. her mom and no, so you know, if anybody knows the whole story, of course. But anyway, we're well, not going to. That's That's a five-hour movie. Oh, uh, it's a long movie. I don't want to And you wouldn't watch Gone with the Wind with me? It's only three and oh, a half. Oh, Lord, please. My it's mom only... thought it was like her, too. Or Brad is what she said. <laughs> hey, bro. Marie! Be, be what's Brad going together, on? together, me and you. Lisa Ramondelli Mascara, I love you. Let your heart zazz. What's up, Paulette? There's Paulette from Middle Name New Pizzeria. Hi, what's Paulette? up, Paulette? How are you? One of the amazing servers and friends. Congratulations, Paulette, once again. So, so um... One more time. What is something you worked okay. hard for? One last time, and then I'm going to explain. And God. I'm trying to think if I have another one. Come I on, guys. I have another one. I have another one. When I was my, growing what? up, uh -huh. my dad was very strict, Italian Catholic father, so I couldn't do much. So my dream was always to be a famous singer, and I, I wanted to to sing so bad, and my dad would not pay for my lessons, would not let me do anything whatsoever having to do with show business, mm -hmm. so when I was 16, I got a job in some, I have some clothing store or something, and I saved all my money the whole year, and then when I was 17, I took the train down, and I would go to, I, I went to HB Studio, it's in the Greenwich Village, mm -hmm. and I took singing lessons, I took acting lessons, and I just Very cool. kept doing that, so. Very cool. Cousin Paul, what's going on? And a happy birthday to you, Joey Gato. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear Joey. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Cousin Paulie, what's up? E, my man. Hey, April, we're like one and the same here. You have the same okay, dream. dream. You too, love Scarlett. April, you should move to New York and be my <laughs> best friend. <laughs> Everybody, please kindly share, like, and follow our pages, of course. Facebook.com backslash Zaz Radio, Instagram Zaz Radio, and of course our YouTube channel, Strip Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show. That's it. Okay? <laughs> Subscribe to it. So, so we have uh, two well two new segments. That's right. And last week we didn't do the second segment. That's new this week, but for the last two weeks we did this one, which we call S E N. It is stripped. Entertainment the news. news. <laughs> Strip <laughs> entertainment news. And Lucia, what <laughs> is the Strip Entertainment News for was it Let's August twelfth? Uh yes. Okay. So apparently Miley Cyrus and Liam Hensworth are getting a divorce or they split up. Uh -huh. And Miley Miley Cyrus couldn't wait. The ink isn't dry on the paper yet. <laughs> she had a runoff 
and she was caught kissing Brody Jenner. If you remember, that's Bruce Jenner, who is now Caitlyn Jenner, because yeah. he doesn't know what he wants to be. And he, she was caught kissing Brody Jenner's ex, Caitlyn Carter. So hold on. Who that's kissed him? Who kissed? So Molly Cyrus <laughs> was kissing Caitlyn Carter? Yes. After the girl. split with yes. Liam Edwards. Yes, yes. What's wrong with that, guys? I know. That's Joe! What Hey, is there anything wrong with that? Because Brody Jenner is the guy. The Joe, the Joe goes, yeah, totally love it. Totally on board with that. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Hey, gentlemen, now we're going to get a lot of views. Okay. As, as Howard Stern would say. What does he say? Ratings, lesbians equal ratings. Oh, I didn't know he said that. <laughs> he said I that. listen to him a lot. Pri private parts, that. yeah. Oh, in private yeah, parts. Yeah, very that. funny. So anyway, what do you guys think of that one? Gina, what's up, Gina? A little crazy. That is pretty crazy. All right. Like so, Michelle Benson. Well, we all knew Miley. Joseph, how are you? Miley Cyrus went both Bernie. Anyway. What's up, Bernie? We like that. Know what I want to know? What? <laughs> how does Billy Cyrus feel about that? I don't Billy know. Ray Cyrus. Cyrus. Like she's a little crazy. She's she definitely does crazy things. She's you know what? She she was this <laughs> Hannah Montana. <laughs> she was on the Disney Channel, Miss Like Apple Pie. And then what happened? She, she just turned into this like pot smoking, no it is? Freaky, twerking. Red Bull. R E B E L. Red Bull, yeah. She I can't totally have Red Bull. rebelled. Red Bull might she, will send me straight to the emergency room. No, Rebel. R E B L. Oh, rebel. <laughs> rebel. I think so. Model. I'm right here. I'm not mumbling. You can see. You can read my Mumble, lips. Mumbling, Lenny. You too. I'm, I'm marbling. He, he sounds like he has marbles. <laughs> Kick your ass. I'm serious. Kick your butt. So, ladies uh, and gentlemen, Strip Entertainment News. That was Strip Entertainment News. And Say now. Say it again. Say it again. I've seen the whole thing. Miley right? Cyrus gets it. Okay. Miley Cyrus. What's up, Sam? Just split from Liam Hensworth. Was caught kissing Brody Jenner's ex, Caitlyn Carter, and I don't think they even got divorced yet. Like, it's not official. Wow. So it's like a big scandal in Hollywood. What do you guys think about this? But, what do you anyway. <laughs> hey, look who checked in. Marina Cavallo's in the house. What's up, Marina? And, of course, we have to shout out Cavallo Insurance Agency on Williamsbridge Road. Marina Pat, Christina, and of course, Gina. If you guys need a quote, go see Cavallo Insurance Agency, Williamsbridge Road, Bronx, New York. Tony! Hey, Tony. This is good, Tony. We are drinking. Out. Tony. Oh, don't tell me we froze. No, I'm still on. Okay. Did we, fr did we freeze? No. Okay. What's up, Rob? This is a cab... And it's Juggernaut Hillside Cab. It is fantastic. It's a vintage 2017. Oh, what's up, Rob G? It's My from buddy. California. What's up, Marina? Christina, Pat, love you guys. What's going on, Rob? So, so uh, what's up, Robs? Do you know Rob, Rob G? Yeah, of course I know. It's a good friend of mine. Yeah, of course. Rob G and the old crew, the Benny Lewis. Rob, we all used to like take over the dance floor. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? At Pearl? At Pearl, yeah. At yep. Pearl and, yep. and m and Anywhere Shout we Shout out to Louie Luttrell. Louie used took, to get us in. We took over all. the dance floor. You, Louie used to run the, you know, run the uh, the door. Oh, okay. And Louie Luttrell. Okay. Good, good people. My man Louie. Fun days. Well, John man. Sperling, what's up? Diane Hanna, okay, how are you? Okay, so we have our next segment. Oh, this segment's which really... Which is SSN. SSN. What does that mean, Lenny? Ladies and gentlemen, ZazRadio.com proudly presents Strip Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show starring Lenny and Lucia. Go with the flow. And Anything go. goes, ladies and gentlemen. But our hot new segment is Stripped Stupid News. Strip Stupid News. Strip Stupid News. You guys ready for this one? And this is really <laughs> stupid. Here we go. Okay, apparently... Um, bank robber mm -hmm. in Ohio. His name was Michael Harnell or yep. Har Harnell yep. Harrell yep. Harrell okay. Harrell. I'm yep. sorry, okay. Michael Harrell. He was robbing the bank, mm -hmm. and I guess he was attracted to one of the tellers. <laughs> 
So he proceeds to hit on her by writing his name, his full name, his address, and his phone number, and slips her the number. Oh, my God. In the God. middle of the robbery. Are you kidding me? How right stupid now? is that? <laughs> Now that oh is stupid God, news. That really is stupid. Ohio man Michael Harrell slips bank teller his wrong. name during the robbery. She calls up the police, doesn't give her number back, and guess what? He gets arrested. And now, well, of course, she's not gonna give him her number. He's, <laughs> he's a of course, but I tell you, you know it's crazy. But he's so stupid, like he thinks. How funny is that? How stupid is that? Let me That's hit on it. this girl. Wait till you rob the bank. <laughs> then go hit on somebody else. Come that on. is in another country. That is our new segment. Stripped. Stupid <laughs> news. <laughs> Tony Spano. <laughs> what kind of wine? What's up, Tony? Eva and the whole entire Spano family. Love you guys. This is an amazing wine, actually. Uh, it's called Juggernaut. It's uh, J-U-G-G-E-R-N-A-U-T. It's made by a Bogle, yeah, it's and it's, a Bogle. it's a hillside cab, and it's actually produced by Juggernaut Wines in Clarksburg, California, okay? It's a, it's a Cabernet, it's a vintage 2017, it has a lion on it, it was about $22 a bottle, and we got it from our friends, actually, um, Liquor Fellas, the H Mart Hybrid Shopping Center, Central Avenue, Yonkers, New York. And of course, shout out to our sponsors for this evening. Shout out to Cafe Classico, 887 Middleton Avenue in Yonkers, New York, a taste of Italy. Go by. I'm craving a cappuccino. And oh my only. God, their, their drinks are amazing. The food is delicious. And, I want a cappuccino. and you know what? The bartenders are really friendly and the, the vibe is really awesome too. It's like go, walking into Italy. Oh Check my God, it out. There's a piece of cork in my wine. Really? How'd that happen? I don't know. Oh my God. Lucia. Oh my God. It was Lucia. so joyful. Oh my God, Lucia. <laughs> I like, really? Mm. I was, <laughs> okay, moving right along. I think it's everybody. Gina, what's up, Gina? Everybody's favorite time. What is of the show? Stupid and apparently talking about bank robbers is better than two girls kissing. Well, <laughs> Joe, we know where your mind is. Of course. Okay. Um, All right, so, so here we go. So this is, I guess, everybody share. Favorite. What's that? The shoe. What time is it? It's the. It is time for, for ladies and gentlemen. The shoe, shoe of, of the, the week. week. The, the shoe, shoe of, of the week. week. Stop! Stop! Ladies, you're beautiful from your hair down to your pretty little toes to your feet. <laughs> it's the shoe, shoe of, of the week. week. The shoe of the week. Okay, right, Lucia. Dressed in Time for pink. the panties on the week. <laughs> dressed, dressed in pink. Okay. Now, what, what, this is very tight, so you got it. All right, so who's this from? Who was the pink outfit from? From Venus. From Venus, very cute. Very Thank sweet. you. Oh, and I like the piece, too. This is like an old gift from somebody. Oh, really? It looks like a, uh, <laughs> what are those things? What? The a door collar? No, I never said it. looks like... What is the thing? A boomerang? It's like a boomerang. It looks like not a, a boomerang. You know the old Chinese movies? Oh my god. When he draws the, 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 the boomerang? No, the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The nunchucks. Nunchucks. <laughs> nunchucks. <laughs> what are we going to do with her? That's not what. Okay. Okay. All right, so this what is, is it? It's going to be hard because my skirt is really tight. That's I can't okay. Really Just lift my yeah, foot. You have to lift your foot. <laughs> I show can't. it. So show the other one. Hold on. I can't do it. Hold on. Really? Oh my god, I can't. So why would you wear that? I don't know, Lenny. Leave All right, me alone. what is this? Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson looks like uh, five and a half. Five and a half looks like a Cinderella shoe. I know. I'm, <laughs> I know waiting, I'm waiting for Prince Charming, but he hasn't arrived. Ooh, imagine that. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> wow. High heel. Five and a half inches. And make sure you can't. Can you, you can't see anything. See anything. Are you sure? Right. No, you're fine. Okay. Okay, so we have. Jessica Simpson, and we go up, and we go up, Lenny. and we go down, up, down. <laughs> and everybody, gentlemen, you grab it like this, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. All right, so the show of the week, Jessica Simpson. Is there any like any uh, title, whatever brand, what whatever? It is? No, it's just Jessica. Jessica Simpson. Simpson. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's the title. That was good. Jerry, what's up, Jerry? 
Jerry and Lauren, isn't it? Our gauge. I couple. knew Joe was going to say nice pansies. What color are they, Joe? Christine Brenner. What's up, Christine Brenner? If you saw the pansies. I want to know what color are they. Oh, stop it. Karen, <laughs> you bought Gigi. What's up? What he said. Kelly Leone's in the house. What's up, Kelly? Thank you, Dawn. So much. Everybody share. And, of course, where's the positive vibes? Positive vibes. Black. She, he They're said not black. black sorry. Uh, there sorry, we go. Buddy. Positive vibes always. <laughs> and love for all. Joanne Bachetta and to all our rock star listeners and viewers, we love you and you're making our dream come true. Every this is our twentieth show. I know. This is I pretty can't awesome. It. So pretty Plenty awesome. Stuff. Why would you wear black panties with a pink dress? It right. just wouldn't. Lisa Finnegan, what's up? You go girl. That's the Bronx <laughs> in you. I like that. You really wouldn't. All right. So Dawn right. Bryan. Okay. I'm gonna move this here. Okay. Christine Brenner, all right, we're going to put this over here. because this Exactly, is... April, not with a pink dress. Don't move too far because then I can't get it. Oh, okay. It. Leave it like all here. right, pink dress. All right. All right there you go. Here we go. So, so, what time is it now, Lenny? What time is it? It's the second. It's the second, not uno, do. Dos. Uh, no, that's Spanish. No, I know. Spanish, Italian. I know, but I wanted to I mean, mix we have, it up. Of course, we have Spanish. Uh, I wanted to mix Russia it up. Listeners. Uno, dos, tres, okay. cuatro. All right, but Cinco. this is we only have two topics of the night, right? Yes, of course. Okay, so do Lucia, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. What well, she looking like? Do it. Do it. Okay. Not speak Italian. All right. No, I'm not. G G two's got to give you. Oh, no, G two. <laughs> Just so you know, I was watching a movie and they said Bon La Sera, and it was Good Evening too. Okay, so Bella Bray says, "Wow, Lucia, those heels on them shoes look painful. I know, painful, I know. But beautiful. You know what, Bella? <laughs> they are they are pretty high, but it's so funny because every single pair of my shoes are like five and a half inches, uh -huh. and. Every time I wear it, like some of them are comfortable and some of them not. It depends yes. on like the shoe, but mm -hmm. I think I only have like a couple of pairs that are like four inches. Really? Okay. Because all the really hot shoes happen to be five and a half inches. Or I never went as high as six, though. That would be too high. Interesting. Okay. All right, so the second topic of the night, Lucia. Let's do it right. The second okay. topic, topic of, of the night. night. Lucia, right. let's, let's do, do it right. right. All right, so the second topic of the night is what is something you did that was stupid, but you laugh about it now? Hmm. What is something that you did that was stupid, but you actually laugh about <laughs> it now? That's it. I'm not going to say it. Oh, you, yes, come on. You can say it. Come on. It's okay. No, no, no. Yes, you can. It's no, okay. No, I need another glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could say, you could say whatever you want. Remember what I always told you, Lucia. What? Whatever a it's woman. On my mind. Whatever a woman. I don't think. Wants to feel. I think sometimes you, you can't allow, really say what's on your mind. <laughs> why? You could say whatever sometimes you want. You have to. You could say whatever you want. Okay, I could say whatever I want. What is? Something. Where should I start? At four? <laughs> yeah, four is What the is something item. you did? That was stupid. That was moronic. <laughs> stupid. stupid. Oh, I got one. Stupid. I got one. I'm going first because you want to go first. I don't remember. The stupidest thing I ever did was when we went to the Lorita Winery for oh. Lenny's birthday and we were walking down. And it's, I saw a pile of mud, and I I said, oh, I'm not going to go through this little puddle because it was water, it was muddy. I said, I'm going to go the other way into the grass, and the grass was more muddy than the little puddle, so that was very stupid because I walked in there, and those were my brand new shoes. Mind you, not I mention, warned her. <laughs> I warned her about this. My but no, she didn't butt want to listen. was in the mud. No, she didn't want to listen. So then okay. I had to walk another two get. miles with muddy shoes, like gush, 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 gush. <laughs> and I couldn't wait to get to the bathroom. So that was one of... I do a lot of stupid things. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Uh, everybody does, yeah. including me. That was one of the stupid things. So Including me. But so. I laughed about it because I was actually... Oh, you always have to laugh. Yeah, you have to laugh. You have, if, that's what I always say. You have to laugh at yourself. Because if you don't laugh... You have to laugh every day. You have to keep your sense of humor. No matter what happens in your life, 
even like bad things that happen to you, yes. you just have to keep your sense of humor True and that. laugh because otherwise you'll go crazy. Absolutely. This like, one is pretty good, right? Like the crazy bank robber. Yeah, <laughs> out of his bird. Okay, He's so at his tree, not at what his is something stupid that you did and you laugh about it now? You know, Maybe I, you didn't I, laugh about it then. But I think then. I think this is um, on a on a bigger plateau, kind of on a bigger realm, meaning something you did <laughs> as a kid. Or Gigi goes, do you have a lot of blonde moments? Oh, well, well, I'm not a natural blonde, so <laughs> not really. I'm a brunette. And sometimes I go back and forth. Like sometimes my hair is brunette, and then sometimes it's blonde. I've been doing that for years. What is something you did that was stupid, forth. but you laugh about it? I'm trying to think of like concrete um, landmarks. Oh wait, April has one. All right, so concrete landmarks in your brain that were really stupid that you did, and you know what I'm saying. Let me uh, read again. April's. Read it. I was hungry and playing outside. Mom was getting dinner done too quickly, so I figured I'd go eat violets like the bunnies did. Oh, oh boy, blisters all over my mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Dinner came back up, thought I was dying. Oh, oh no, god. how so old good. were you? What's up, Sean? <laughs> What's going on, Sean? Oh my Sean? god, you ate flowers. Somehow. Once again, everybody, kindly like and share. Bonds have more fun when the brunettes aren't around. That's there you so go, true, G -G. I always say. Because I'm a blonde, blonde's ambition. All right, so I'm trying to think. Uh, come on, guys. Second topic of the night. Let's do it right. What is something you did ready. that was stupid, but you laugh about it now? I'm trying to think. Um, so what did you do? I'm sure you have a okay, long list. Okay, I got one. I'm sure you have a long list, Lenny. I, got, I do. I do. Oh, this is actually, actually pit. It's actually it's pitiful. Stuff. It's actually pitiful. Is it really? Well, yeah. why are you doing that for me a little? <laughs> please, how about please? Hi, please. Is that better, please, Lenny? Mister. I got kicked out of the house. <laughs> I got kicked out of the house. Why am I not surprised? Because I did something wrong. I don't remember what I did. What did you do? I don't know. I don't remember what I did. I don't blame your mother. No, not my mother. My girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> and I lived with her. And I, you and know like what, a, well, Hold on, hold on. I can really finish? see this. And, and, I really, I see no, this. No, this girl. is this is two thousand one, two thousand two. All right. Yeah. And this moron, me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll admit this. That I waited on her step for five hours for her to... You did? Yep. Well, like that a, was when you were young and... I dumb was, and full of... I don't want to say that because maybe sometimes people are smarter when they're young and then when they grow up, they're stupid. I don't know. Oh, I can tell you this. Sometimes that happens. It's not very... Oh, look. So you get a better pour this oh, time. Oh, good, good. Because last time you took more. Okay. You always take more. Okay. You're greedy. Yeah. I'm greedy. <laughs> You're greedy. Oh All right. Joe said, I once snuck out of my house at 16 when my dad said, do not leave. Funny how not when I came home. Oh, yeah, I know. God. <laughs> my fault. You want to hear that? I said, I think I said on one episode oh. that my dad, I snuck out of the house, I crawled down the, you know, I was like, I was like a superhero when I was a kid, <laughs> like jumping off things and everything. I drove the car to the garage. <laughs> oh, my God. I snuck out of the house, went to a club, my dad caught me. Oh, this one's good. And he comes in, you know, I'm thinking I'm all cool in the club, there's cute guys there, I'm like, oh, look at this guy, look at that guy, I'm in my little mini skirt and everything, with my friends, all of a sudden I get a tap on the shoulder, I turn around, it's my father. <laughs> Oh my God, so embarrassing, right in front of everybody I know. My father dragged me out of there. Oh my God, I was punished for like a year at that time. <laughs> I, I couldn't even get out of the house. I was in my father's Lincoln, right? Don't ask me why. Like a moron. Yeah. I took my finger. You know the cigarette lighters? You stuck your finger? I stuck my finger in the freaking thing why? to see if it was hot. Because you know, the, the, what do you call it? Oh my God. Oh my God, my finger was like. Why would you do that? Then you know. <laughs> stupid, I had no idea. I was a kid. Oh Moron. my God. All right, let me read this one. Back of my Lincoln. Lucia did the same with my, with the car with my fully 100% Italian parents in the car. Instead of going through the flood of water, I said, Dad, no worries. I'll go on the side. 
when I was on the grass. <laughs> Never heard the end of that. I was 17. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, my God. These Italian... These Italian parents, especially the dads, they are like... Christina yeah. Lazari, what's up, Christina? All right, your turn to meet April. My husband and I worked hard to get him. <laughs> you want me to read it? April, I'll read it. Okay. My brother and I were playing in his room, and my father told us it was time to clean up the toys. Well, it was in my room, so I got up and left. <laughs> I was told to get back in there and help. I picked up all these... Pretend school papers, looked at my father and mother both and tossed the fuckers up to the <laughs> ceiling. My mother, though, he was going to kill me. I don't even remember, remember it. it. Oh, oh, my God. So funny. Yeah, these fathers. Michelle. What's up, Michelle Benz? I hope you're feeling better each and every day. We love you, Michelle. Michelle sick? Michelle, feel better. I once snuck out of my house at 16. Still waiting to number. meet those adorable okay. little girls. So cute. They are. Yeah, I'll forever be so stuck, stuck in the mud. I got stuck in the mud. All right, so I'm trying to think what else. Oh, man, you do some stupid things. Let me see. Oh, I got to go. Oh, wait, things. you ready for this one? This one's real good. This one's really good. I've, I after so I got money. divorced, I I, after I got divorced, I actually uh, had three roommates, okay? Mm-hmm. So one night I was real, I mean, really drunk. Really, right? Lenny? Really so drunk. I can imagine. Okay, so, <laughs> come on. Last time I was drunk in how long? Months. Anyway, anyway. I'm being funny. I know you're being funny. To my rock star listeners. I'm this. being sarcastic. And That's know, what I do. I know. Okay. Go ahead. So, Go ahead. So here we are. I call up my, my, uh, my roommates. I can't find my keys. I'm like, what the? Where's my keys? Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I said, whatever you do, don't lock the door. Right? So I went to a club. I'm banged up. I'm knocking, I'm knocking, knocking on the door, right? Right? Yeah. Knocking on the door, knocking, knocking. Boom! My hand goes through the glass. Right? I cut my hand and I'm drunk, bleeding. I said, I can't believe this. I look in the friggin' mailbox. My keys are in the mailbox. <laughs> I put them in the mailbox like a friggin' moron. I didn't realize it. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Forget about it. That's something really stupid that I did. That was a while ago, too. Jacqueline, what's up, Jacqueline? That's I was crazy. in ICU on a breathing Hi, machine. Hi, Vita. Oh, Michelle, Vita. I was, I, was, I, was on, I was in ICU breathing machine. I'm much better getting ready for the backup. Backpack drive. Oh, I'm glad oh, you're feeling awesome. better. Thank God. Vita, what's up? Excuse me, Vita. Once again, everybody, share, share, share. Um, come on, everybody. Let's see. What is something you did that was stupid, Vita, but you laugh Vita, about Vita. it now? You um, laugh about it now. I actually had one, and now I forgot. That always happens to me. Must be that. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, oh, I remember. I did what something it? stupid because I, well, it's not really that stupid, but uh -huh. I just thought, I don't know why it popped into my head. Yeah. I, I was like this guy and. I did something really stupid. He what owns I a. I shut the AC off because yeah, I'm dying right now. Like, <laughs> I, uh, I like this guy and he was working in the store. I don't remember it was in the Bronx on Tremont Avenue. And I really liked him. I went to get him to notice me. So I put on, like, my hottest outfit. And I said, you know... How old were you? How old were you? Oh, God. How old was <laughs> I? I was young because I didn't, I didn't get I didn't get married yet. So. You Bronx girls. Yeah, I think I was only, like, 16 or 17. You slutty Bronx girls. <laughs> so I put on, like, a little cute outfit. And I said, you know, I want to be so cool. So I took the phone. Was it? I have a phone. I can't remember. I can't story. remember. Yeah, I think I had the phone. So I was pretending like to be really cool. When, maybe I was older. No, maybe this is after my divorce. Oh I can't my remember. lord! <laughs> no, because the I wine's had, getting to a blonde the uh, phone, highlights. The phone. So anyway, I had the John. What's up, John? I put the phone on my ear to pretend that I was talking to somebody, oh, so I I could keep walking there. back and forth. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm talking, 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 and he starts coming out, and then the phone rang. <laughs> Oh, that's great. So oh, that's stupid. great. That was good. And I was like, uh, oh. 
didn't know what to do. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody so funny. All right, I have Denise. What's up, cousin Denise and Frankie? Dawn Bryant. When I was Joe, a teen. Oh, that wasn't a long story. When I was a teenager, my parents wouldn't let me dye my hair, so I sneakily soaked my hair in some peroxide and lemons in hopes to lighten it a little. Not knowing when I went oh, into the no, pool, it's turned green. it mixed with the chlorine. It would turn orange. Yep. Growing out, it's it was punishment. my punishment. It could, sometimes oh it God. turns green with the chlorine. Yeah, green or orange. Thank you, Joe. Oh, Thank you, Joe. That was not a long story, Joe. And you're supposed to be on my side, remember? Uh, well, I have some, well, somebody's watching on vacation. <laughs> their friend on vacation. Hmm. Somebody watching yeah. and listening. Yeah. Their friend on vacation yeah. walked right straightly in to a glass door. That's funny. That's because you. It's so like we we checking out a girl. No, it was a girl. We try our best to clean. She walks into the right glasses? into the freaking room. How about when right when, into it? How about when guys are checking girls out? Like you're walking across the street oh. or something, and the oh. guy's checking you out, and he smashes his car. <laughs> I remember one guy was staring at me, and he smashes. He wasn't even looking. He smashes his car right up on the on the divider and everything. It was so funny. I was like, oh my god. And you knew it was it was uh, he was looking at you. Well, I saw him looking at me, so and then funny. I kept ignoring. You know. So funny. It's just funny. I feel bad for you women, serious with the cat calls and know, all us guys, you know. I hate it. It's hard to believe that you, you know what? You stay strong. That's good. Yeah, what are you going to do? You women, say? you know? It's funny because they did something like that on, like, uh, they had, actually, they had women do it to guys. No, that's funny. And to see how, like the guys, to how the guys would react. You know? Yeah, I would like to. I would love you know to what? see that. You know what's funny with that is that like after a while, you're just like so immune to it that mm -hmm. you just like ignore it. Yeah. Okay. Like you don't even want to hear it anymore. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing good on time. Yeah, it is five after eight, and we're doing phenomenal once again. We are sponsored by our show today is sponsored by Cafe Classico, eight eight seven Millen Avenue, in Yonkers, New York. Our friends Dominique yes. and Antoinette, a little taste of Italy, go into there and tell them that you know Lenny Lucia from Strip Live World Radio Interactive Talk Show. I think Joe needs okay? a drink. Yeah, I know, Ava. I think Joe needs a drink. Uh, Joe and Zeppa. And you will taste some delicious Lucia food. needs a fan. You will taste, <laughs> so, uh, oh, you will taste awesome drinks. And you will feel that you step right into Italy. Italy. It really is that beautiful. So oh, check out Cafe Classico. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Okay. And they have a nice backyard, really very, very yes. rom romantical, oh, as Lucia would very say. Very romantical. And um, it's very, it's right next to Sons of Italy. Um, you know the uh, the club. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool place. Check them out. Okay, so okay, so ladies and gentlemen. Everybody's favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, we always say it. There's always something on somebody's mind that you want to ask, but you're afraid to ask. So we get an abundance of emails on our Gmail, which is stripped r r i t s. And normally they come actually um, at Zazri at Gmail. Okay, so. We uh, go through all them, and we pick the ones, uh, you know, that come in first, yeah. and the ones that we think would really um, the, the ones spark that your attention. Spark your attention, yeah, and yeah. also the ones that we think we really would like to try to help. Help out because absolutely. they seem they seem like they re need our help more than others. Yeah, because so, they'll like write like a longer email and they'll like really get into it. That's right. As opposed to like somebody just. A quick email. So this is our so, so this is our stripped anonymous, anonymous email, email. Thank of you. the week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a, a favorite of our rockstar yes, listeners and viewers. You guys have wrote in and told us that's <clears> your favorite part. Um, let me just say. Um, he needs to dump her. Joe said right away. Vita, <laughs> Vita, thank you so much. Thank you, Vita. Or um, she, or she needs to leave. That's All right, Joe. Come on. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is the anonymous. This is the anonymous. And, and we believe, uh, and one thing I have to say is, 
what we try to do is really try to dig deep and see um, these anonymous emails, how they can really relate to our rock star listeners and viewers. Yes. And more importantly, our intelligent rock star listeners and viewers. Yes. Give the anonymous um, person that wrote it in some advice on this. So, exactly. So that's what it's all about. So we're reaching out to you guys. And, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure at one point in your life, you might have went through it this. It might have happened. You know what happened yeah. to you. Yeah. So I always say you it's have to, you have to walk in someone's shoes in order to give that advice. Yes, so exactly. so we're here to help you out. Yes. Once again, exactly. like and share. Let's do it, babe. Okay. This anonymous email came from a young woman. Mm -hmm. Well, she's how? like how she said she's in her forties. Okay. So. She's been dating um, this guy for six months, oh. and everything was going great. You know, they seemed to be on the same page. They were sharing special moments together, doing things together, and she she thought that he was in love with her, like she's in love with him. So she opened her heart to him, and basically, he turned around and told her that he loves her, but he's not in love with her. Mm -hmm. And she's very much in love with him, and now they're at like a Oof. point where she said that he wanted to just like end things, and she's pretty much upset about it. She just doesn't know what to do. She feels hurt because she really thought they were on the same page, and she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know if she should try to talk to him, try to work things out. You know, because when you're, she said she's in love, so when you're in love, you, you know, you really sometimes don't think clearly. So she wrote to us to ask our advice, like, how she should approach this situation. Say what's up to DJ Chaz, what's Brooklyn's own, in the house. What's up, DJ Chaz? Finally, a question I sent me. To the show. <laughs> oh, you okay. just got home now? So wow. What do you guys, what do you guys think she should do? Like, should she just walk away? Um, also, he basically said, he gave her the old, let's be friends, you know, which a woman hates to hear. Let's mm. just be friends, you know. Mm. But how can you be friends with somebody that you're in love with? It's mm. hard, you know. I, I so, think this... What do you guys think she should do, and what do you think of what he did? Um, so ladies and gentlemen, as Lucia said, the girl... Uh, basically is in love with the guy after six months and the guy um, doesn't have the same feelings for the the girl mm -hmm. um, but he per acted like he did he acted so. like he did okay. so she she assumed he did and uh -huh. that's why she kind of like went with the situation and opened her heart and okay. you know he feels like you know she went overboard but she says she didn't go overboard because she thought that's what he wanted and they were on the same page. Bella Marie says, walk away, everything happens for a reason. April says, I save my dignity and walk and go punch some walls. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, okay. this is a hard one. Um, mm -hmm. This is a hard one. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm... Well, I'm curious to, say, to know what you guys think of what the guy... Like, what about him? Jacqueline, like, what's up, what Jacqueline? What do you guys think about him? Okay, even though it hurts, I think she should end it and move on. She should end it, okay. Okay, but there also is another situation that she brought up. They actually work together, so, like, how is she going to deal with that? Like, you know, she has to see him at work every day. Oh, wow. So. That's a hard one. Yeah, they work like in the same like office. Like a nine to five? Yeah, they work in the same office, so. Yeah. So she's going to have to see him every day, and mm. she has to do, like, deals with him, because I think it's, like, a real estate office, and they have to do, like, you know, work on, like, deals, closings, and things like that. I respect his honesty. Okay. Dawn, I like that, Dawn. You're, you know what? I, I always say this. As a man, I've always told each and every woman this and that is you will always know where you are with me but be careful of what you're going to ask me because right. i'm going to give you exactly 
what you ask. Okay. Well, what do you answer. think she should do because she works with him? What do you What do you guys think she should do about that? I mean, she's she can't just end it and walk away. She's gonna see him every day, so that's Talk. like a, you um. Know, that's like. What like would I tell her? Coming out of here. Right, so what would I tell her? My advice would be so six months. She's in love with him. Um, he doesn't have the same feelings. Uh, she, he just wants to be friends, he says. Well... That's, that's you know, that's... I think he wants to I be friends know. with benefits or something like that. Okay. I'm not really sure. I didn't get that whole part. See, like I told you, you have to make sure... I'm telling you, we're going to start, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we're going to start accepting phone, phone calls. Phone calls, phone calls. Accepting phone calls. On. I think he said he wants to be friends, but he wants so to still he wants to still see her like okay. every once in a while. So so basically, it's on his time, right? So. Like like he wants to be, you know, whenever you know, which I think is wrong. Whenever it's convenient for him, that's not right. Well, you know, she's, you know, she has a brain. Yeah, she has a mind. You know, if she's busy, she's busy. Right. You know what I mean? She. Sh he should 100% respect that. No, it's not There's that. No There's no games. Like, There's no games whatsoever, I'm, just I'm sure. curious, how do you deal with that situation when you got to see somebody at work? Keep it professional at work. She's right. A, I agree. Right. I agree. Keep it professional at work. Um, okay. You know what I would do? I'll tell you exactly what I would do. No, would okay, do? I have it. I would give myself a... Okay, Huh? What? Throw down? I would give my, if I was her, yeah. I would give myself a time limit. A time limit for what? Okay. So I would give myself a time limit, say a month, two months. My, my thing is always three to six months. Right. If you don't feel what you are supposed to feel mm -hmm. in three to six months, then you got to get out. Okay. So on his end, he doesn't feel it. Right. right. Okay. Well, he said he's, he loves her. Okay. He's not, He's at the beginning stage okay. of love. So she is in love with him. So for her, I would say give yourself in your mind. I think she should quit her job. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, because then he wins. No, I'm and, just and kidding. I hate to I'm say, just kidding. You know, I'm just kidding. That's not good. I'm being silly. You Go know, ahead, buddy. I'm sorry. I okay. You. Yeah, she did. I'm sorry. Really I'm rough. Okay. So I hate you, April said. Joanne, what's up, Joanne? Leave him alone, Vita. Yeah, Lenny, I'm listening to you. Okay. Go ahead. So what I would say is give yourself a time. A time. So meaning meaning if it's a month, a two months, three months, do not tell him, but do it for yourself, for your for your and Saturday, a time limit for what? To see if he feels the same. To see if he comes around? If he comes around. Oh. Whether it's a month could be a week. You know, right. but the time that you waste will be a time that you could be, you know, uh, starting something new with somebody else. So you don't know. So wait, you giving you saying give it a month, but don't give it a month. It's up to you. It's up to you. Oh, you're it's saying up to her. either she gives yeah. it a gives it a time limit. Yes. Or she just moves on. Okay, okay, Bella, I agree. Loving someone and being in love are two. Separate feelings, correct? True. Correct. But I feel like Maria Ferrari. What's up, Maria? How are you? Say, Thank you so much for checking in. I have to say something from my own personal experience. Uh -huh. I I was dating this guy. Uh -huh. He was my boyfriend, mm -hmm. and I was not in love with him. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. I I cared for him and I liked him a lot, uh -huh. and I enjoyed spending time with him. But he was. He was definitely in love with me. Like, he couldn't do enough for me. You know, he worshipped the ground I walked. He was, like, the greatest guy in the world. Mm -hmm. And after, like, being with him, you know, because it's what what I wanted. I actually, I wanted a relationship. Mm -hmm. So after being with him, I eventually grew to love him. Mm -hmm. And I felt the same way as him. Unfortunately, he went and cheated on me. But <laughs> but the thing, but the thing I mean, is, thing, I know. Too. But Come the on. thing is, is what's weird about this whole situation. So Grace is that he was so much in love with me uh, that I would have never expected sure. him to cheat on me. Sure. And he did, and it was crazy. Once I, this is the ironic thing. Once I fell in love with him, that's when he cheated on me. So. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a tough situation. Like, you 
You really don't know. You know what I say? I say, like, whatever's meant to be uh-huh. is going to be meant to be. So give your advice to the girl. Okay, what, this what, is my what, advice. What's your advice this to is the girl? My, this is my advice, right. and I have to fix my hair. Bronx girl. Bronx girl. <laughs> this is Kick my it. advice, and I go by this because, you know, Lenny thinks I'm a little too mushy and romantic sometimes, but... It's not really bad. It's just that no. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I don't think you're too mushy and too romantic. Too Again, mushy. Too uh, no, mushy. No. Again, <laughs> I always Musha. say everybody knows me, and I say let a woman feel what she wants okay, to feel, but no let me matter explain. when and where and what. And same thing with a man. That is one thing. You have feelings, and right. you're allowed to have and feel what you want to feel. So therefore, do okay. it. Okay, but I was just going to say that if I... If Chia could have been lust then. There you go, Bella. Yeah, no, okay. he wasn't lusting after me. I wasn't lusting after him. All right, so give, um, give your advice I'm, to I'm the giving, I'm trying to give my yeah. advice here. I'm trying, Spit it out. Trying Spit it out, Chia. I'm trying to get Jesus it. Jesus Christmas. But you keep interrupting me. I can't get it out. All right, I'm just saying that... All right, I'm not... Yeah, I write... I write poetry, so obviously I'm a very, very, like I told Lenny when he met me, I'm a very deep person. Uh-huh. Like, I I write, I've written a book. Okay, but what does I this write, have to do I'm with giving advice? To that. I write poetry. Give her advice. What is I your advice? I write poetry. Get to this. I'm getting to that. This is irrelevant, okay, Lenny. Get it. <laughs> He's interrupting Let's me. Let's go. So, I, I know a lot about love and uh-huh. feelings and everything. That's why I'm getting to that. Okay. Okay. And sometimes I po- I post poems on Facebook for everyone to read in case anyone's in that situation mm-hmm. and they need to read a poem to help them or or to like maybe learn something. That's what I do because I w- I'm Lucia Love and okay. I'm all about love. Okay. okay, so my advice to her is this: if she really loves the guy. Mm-hmm. She should definitely, I agree with you, she should definitely give it a time limit. And sometimes love does take a while to grow. Exactly. And he might really love her, and he might fall in love with her, you don't know. She should just give it a time limit. What's a time limit? What would you tell her? Well, she has to make that time limit up in her own mind. Well, what, I'm asking you, what time limit would you... I Well, if it was me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Well, you're giving her, as a professional... Right. As a professional advice... Right? Yeah. She's sitting right here, <laughs> and, and you're speaking to her, and you're okay. looking at her eye to eye, me eye, me eye to eye. Stop it, me eye. Okay. I would Daniel say. Daniel's son, what would you say? I would say, like, uh, that's a tough one. Come I, on, say I'm it. I'm thinking. You're putting pressure on me. I would say a month. I would say a month. I would say. Because I'm not wasting my time. If I'm her, a month, I I'm not wasting my time. I would say a month or two, but that's it. Okay. That's it. Um, so a month or two. Two months tops, okay. but. 30 to 60 days, that's okay. it. If she wants to. If she doesn't Thank feel... Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Tom. You two are adorable. If, it, if she doesn't want to, mm-hmm. then she's just going to have to, like, you know, get over it because we all have heartbreak in our life. It's uh-huh. been there, done that. So, you know, you just have to get over it and move on. You know what? I so, say, there's only two choices. I Either say, you get over it and move on, or you give it some time, see what happens, go with the flow, and anything goes. anything goes, and you know, just be happy. I would say keep busy, do things that you love to do, mm-hmm. that you haven't done since you were in the relationship. You know, something that you want to do. Now you have time I, to do it. I would love to hear from him. Okay. I would love to hear. From I would him. like to hear from him. I'd love too. to hear from him to find out exactly how he okay. really actually feels about her. All right. So we're gonna. Who cheated after? Nikki Spano, what's up? He was Nick? listening if he cheated afterwards. I'd have to bring her new guy around the office. Oh yeah, bring a new guy. Well, you know what? I, you know mm. what I always say? Jealousy does not work. Nah. Jealousy is like playing games. You don't really want. You're not. I gonna, think at this age, how old is she? In her forties. Yeah, you're not gonna win the guy by I making him jealous. Yeah. Making a guy jealous. Especially if he's not jealous. Right. Especially if he's not right. a type of jealous. But you're you know? not going to win a guy that way because that only pisses... Chrissy, what's up, Chrissy? Absolutely. That only pisses a guy off because exactly. then he feels like, what kind of girl is she exactly. that she's going to go bring another guy to flaunt in front of me? That's not going to work. Trust me. Yep. It, it, oh, that's what I was saying. If it's This is my saying that I always live by. Uh-huh. Whatever's meant to be, mm-hmm. will be. Yeah. So leave it in God's hands and... Not to win him. Not to win him, to annoy him. Joe! 
That's why you're married. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, jealousy is always a game, right? Okay, you know? ladies and gentlemen. So the the thing is, leave it in God's hands. I leave Jelly, it in that. Jealousy okay, is a game. That's we're right. going to the next subject. Getting... Chrissy. Sorry, but I can't hear you. We're talking pretty loud, Chrissy. I hope you, Too low? you hear us. Too low? That's okay. I think All right. Okay. Getting to know... Our rock star listeners and viewers? Yes. Okay. Getting to know our rock star listeners and viewers. This is the part of the show oh, yeah. that I love because... Should I talk louder? What? This is the part of... Yes. Lenny, you're so funny. Okay. You just said. Thank you, Viva. This Thank is you. the... This is the point in the show where I I like the most mm -hmm. because I like to get to know more about each and every one of you that... We like to get we, to know. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm that's sorry. okay. That's all right. That's I'm fine. sorry, Lenny. I forgot. It's Lucia's show, I right? forgot you were here. Okay, it's Lucia's okay. show. Okay. Wow. Lucia's Whatever this number. is, this juggernaut, <laughs> the wine of the week, let me tell you something. Wow. What did I do? Good. I'm in trouble now. All right, so getting to know our rock star listeners and viewers... Here we go. Getting to know Rockstar listeners and viewers. <laughs> Getting yeah. to know Rockstar That's listeners it. and viewers. There you go. Because I want to know about, we want to know about you. Bad girl. Sorry. Patricia, Tanya. We're what's loud up? enough. That's okay. right, April. We're loud enough. Brian McLaughlin. What's up, Brian? I'm Shout loud. out to Tara's <laughs> Bar and Grill. Another awesome place. As you well know, the last time we yes. were there, the food oh, was delicious. Johnny, Johnny. Johnny Sal and him. DJ yeah, Mike Annunziato. Brian McLaughlin's in the house. The proprietor and owner of I want to listen to Johnny Bar Grill. We have to talk to Brian. Maybe he'll uh, sponsor us for next week. Okay. Right on the same so, Millen Avenue in Yonkers, New York. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so we're getting to know our rock star listeners and viewers. Yes. And we want to know... What is your favorite thing to do in the summer? Okay. It's your favorite summer pastime? The pink, as you can see, the flamingos. Yeah. The pina colada that you actually made, what was it, two weeks ago? Delicious. Two weeks Delicious. ago? Yeah. The apple martini yes. that you what made when, when Tia was here? Yes. Those are summerish. Summer kind of drinks, things. okay. Yeah. So, Bella, What's your be right favorite back. thing to do in the summer or your favorite drink? Are you are you trying to go there with the favorite drink? Favorite no, what, drink? whatever. Listen, what what what's your favorite thing to do? Is okay. it is it uh, going jet skiing? Is it taking the uh, the uh, what do you call it? Out? What are they? Oh my! Lady, why am I getting uh, all the cords? I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> it's all on my clothes. It's a little bit. Anyway. Drink the freaking thing. It's not Christmas me, side. Lenny. Just drink the freaking thing. I did, thing. but you put cork. Oh, stop it. I'll give you a cork, all right? Lenny, <laughs> well, why are you being so mean to so me? So anyway, uh, <laughs> for everything to do in the summer. Driving. What is that? <laughs> Driving the cowboy. To oh, yeah. Definitely. Is that? You know, you know Joe's... Uh, car. His car was yeah, the Mercedes. Oh, his car was a Mercedes. Yeah, I think so. Uh huh? I never heard of that brand. So. Yeah, that's hot. I love driving. I love driving with the top down. My next Mercedes is gonna be convertible. I can I can miss close to get a convertible. I'm getting that in December. Cool, cool. Yeah, because you know what? If you buy the convertible in December, you're gonna get a better deal. <laughs> True that. Because it's not summer. Very good. My next car is going to be the two-door Mercedes convertible. Nice. Can't wait. Very hot. And I'm going to ride with the top down, blasting my music. Margaret, what's up, Margaret? Blasting in the my house. Ha my hair man, glam man. Tammy Bianca. What's up, Tammy? Okay. Well, like the chair, everybody. Oh, cab cabin violent means convertible is... Oh, I didn't know that. Eileen, what's up, Eileen? Eileen, happy birthday. Happy birthday Love to you. you. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday dear Eileen. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Hope to see you. Hope to see I you soon. I just being outside. Summer, my favorite season. Okay. Yeah, that's my favorite. So, favorite outside. thing to do in the summer, being outside. Being outside. You uh, know what mine is. On the boat, what fishing, uh, the beach, <laughs> pool. The beach. The country clubs. Just came uh, home for dinner. Oh, cool. On the on the on the uh, wave runners. That's what I was looking at. Jet wave ski. runners. Jet, jet skis. skis. Um, I almost died on a jet ski. Uh, we don't want to hear about that. I know you don't. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I 
I almost got killed on a jet ski, All right, but that's so another story. Positive. Eileen, you're okay. very welcome. Just yes, love dinner. you. Hope to see you soon. Okay, so we have 30 minutes and we want to know from our Rockstar listeners and viewers, favorite thing to do in the, summer. the summer. What's your favorite thing? Um, All of that? You know what? I actually like to. Uh, what do I like to do? I, once in a while, I like to go. Oh to the beach. yeah, Chrissy, let's have a beach live. Let's do our our show wow, from the beach. Wow, Chrissy, great idea. Like that would be so cool. That would be cool. I would love that. We could do that. We, we can could do, do, that. do that. We'll do that. Chrissy, yeah, be, great idea. Let's go down to the Jersey Shore next Monday. We could do that. Do our show yeah, on the beach. Maybe summer nights. That'd we should cool. do that right on the porch. That'd be cool. Oh, that would be hot. No, uh, yeah, that'd be I cool. I love that. She'd let us do it. Yeah, of course. That would be cool. She was awesome. Shout out to summernights.com, 50s theme, better Summers breakfast. are not over till the end. S-U-M-M-E-R-N-I-T-E-S.com. Check out 50s My theme, better breakfast. My favorite place awesome in the whole place. world. I can't wait to go stay in the Elvis. Vinny, what's up? Vinny LaBarbera. So. Once again, everybody, make sure you please like and share and follow Facebook.com backslash Zaz Radio, Instagram Zaz Radio, YouTube Zaz Radio, and YouTube Strip Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show. That's right, subscribe to it. All right, and our sponsor for this evening and our show number 20 is number 20. Cafe Classico, 887 Midland Avenue in Yonkers, New York. Proprietors Dominic and Antoinette. Uh, we thank you guys and go in. It's a little taste of Italy. You guys will love the food. The drinks are awesome. The vibe yes, is awesome. It's so cool. And the people are really cool. Very, very nice people. And, and I'm telling you, it's like you stepped into Italy. Oh, I'll okay? bring extra carrots. So, so God bless. Oh, the carrots. That's a horses. That was Lorita Winery, though. That wasn't summernights.com. Ernie, what's up, Ernie? Beach and Tiki Bar. I love Anthony it. Anthony Cornetta. Ready, Anthony? Ready? Five. Four, three, three two, two, one, one. boom! What is this? That's the Z. Got to show up. Why, why are we doing that? The Z. For Zaz Radio. I can't do Come that. Come on, you can do the Z. <laughs> Throw up your Z's. Okay. Anthony, <laughs> Anne Marie, and everybody, watch all this as a view. <laughs> boom! <laughs> Throw up the Z's. Oh, you getting too... One day I'm going to come see you, buddy. Oh, Come Vinny, in. I would love it, brother. Then you getting too cooked. All right, so, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on to, uh, this is the riddle? absolutely... Funniest the, riddle? This, no, this is a good one. And you guys aren't getting this. No, you're not. And we're going to give you a hint, though. No hints yet. No, no, afterwards. Okay, okay. So, it's a really good one. Okay. Um, And this, we started out with, we did a scratch off. Oh, we can do the bikini of the week. At the jer if we do it in the jersey, Joe said do bikini of the week. There you go. <laughs> I'll just wear a bikini. Nice. That'd be hot. He just wants to see you. <laughs> and a bikini. A little skin. <laughs> just want to see a little skin. My I, bikini. A little skippy thing, I know. We don't, I told you what we should do. What? We should do it in the jacuzzi. We should. Yeah, that'd that be would cool. be fun. That would be fun. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it <laughs> is bikini the bikini. Riddle of, of the week. week. The riddle, riddle of the week. It sounds so sweet. It's the riddle of the week. The ladies riddle of the week. week. Ladies and gentlemen. What's hard, long, soft, old? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys ready? Attendance Gabby's will go up. large. <laughs> Joe, Joe said attendance will go way up. Yeah, I'll get a spray tan and everything. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we go. What is hard? Hard. <laughs> makes noise. When you hit it, it makes when, noise. Makes noise when you hit it. Good. And varies in size. What is hard? Makes noise when you hit it and varies in size. This Ooh. is a tough one. I didn't get it. Just okay. Saying. So, what's hard? Hard. When you hit it. Makes noise. Makes noise. <laughs> And varies in size. size, which means it could be small or large. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. That's not. That's next. Things to make. Al Serrano, what's up, Al? I definitely have to give you a call. Al, my Marini. buddy. What's up, Marini? What's going on, Al, my buddy? Joe, a woman's ass. I love it, Joe. 
Love talking to you, Al. Pinball, wow, that's a that is so pinball good, Joe. Pinball machine is good. That's a good one, Joe. April, good one. Horn. A horn, awesome. I want to see Al again. You ever like talking to him? Very interesting conversation. Great man, great man. Very. And a class act. Yes. All the gentlemen. Love you, Al. I'll tell you. Um, okay, so what is hard? That's makes right. noise when you hit it. Yes. And varies in size. Okay, what did Chrissy say? Birthday suit of the week, having sex on the beach. And All right, so we oh, yeah, we could do bikinis and sex on the beach as a drink. That's it. A table. Chrissy, you should be our manager. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> a bongo. Dawn said a bongo. Joe said a table. Dawn, very good, Dawn. Good answers. Wow. You guys are so smart. Okay, keep going because get ready because our next segment is my favorite of all. <laughs> Lenny makes fun of me because I learn. <laughs> no, I love to learn. learn. That's awesome. I love to read. That's great. Bongo table. Come on, guys. The floor. The floor. Mm, Who else? Come on. Come on. Good Come on. one. Good oh, one. Oh, oh, I did spill it. Son of a beehive. Oh, mud on the me. What did you do? All oh, right. This has to be washed. It's okay. It's all good. Can be wet or dry. <laughs> <laughs> all over the world. Wet or dry. Heck yeah. Yeah. Tambourines. Good one. Wow. You guys are good. David Visconti. Oh, I love tambourines. I used to use the tambourine in my band. <laughs> I did. I did the tambourine. I was the lead singer and I did the tambourine. That was so much fun. I'm going to go back to playing the piano. Okay. I'm just what? thinking of all the Chinese people that are really thirsty. What do you mean? In in China, and I just built that. Hey. That's not a good thing. That's not a good Say thing. That's why you don't throw out food. My friend always says that. Don't throw out food. Lenny's drums from childhood. Lenny's drums. Very good. I want to hear Lenny play the drums. Tom, you know? oh, I could play the drums. Really? Drum. Yeah. So, you know, you could play the drums. I could play piano. I, and could I can bang sing. away. You know that. Yeah, we know. Lenny's drums from childhood. <laughs> okay. What is hard? Makes noise when you hit it. Wow. And varies in size. Come on, you guys can get this. I know it. April said a door. Uh -huh. I don't know. Hmm. All right, we're going to give you a hint because we've got 10 minutes. Okay, the hint is got wood. That's the hint. That's the hint. Got wood. Got wood. So it, what is hard, makes noise when you hit it. Varies in size and got wood. Joe, you're getting stumped this time. Yep, let's see if they get it. A2 by 4. <laughs> I knew we should say that. A2 by 4. That's so funny. Dawn Marie, what's up, Dawn? A2 by 4. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Mm. That's next. These are very garlicky. Yeah, Parmesan. I know, but they're getting garlic on the food. Delicious. You like garlic on your food? Oh, yeah. That's hot. April said a tree. Okay. Joe said the wall. Hmm. Everybody like and share. You guys are not getting this one. This is a tough this one. It's a tough one. It really is. Hard? I didn't get it. Who made it up? Who made it up? You did. Lenny, we know you make up the riddles. Why you gotta take credit? No, I'm just... <laughs> Ready? You gotta have a pat on the it's back, It's hard, no. Hard. Lenny. Hit it. It makes noise. Oh, the... what's up, Rita? Oh, my Rita. God. No, she got it. I was like, there's no, no Rita, way. No, Rita. My girl, Rita. Rita. Bella Rita is watching. I'm ready for my car in December. I'm coming to see you. Rita DiMaggio? Rita DiMaggio. I'm coming Rita, to see you. Rita, what's up, Rita? I'm coming. Get ready, because Lucia Love is coming to Brooklyn in December to upgrade my car. It's because the clues don't make sense. <laughs> Joe, you're too funny. When are, you come, when are you and Sue coming on our show? Yeah, when are you and Sue? Where is Sue? Where's Sue? Where's Sue? Tell Sue we, we love her. That's okay, Rita. We love you. I don't know any more hints. Like What's up, Dawn? Love you, love you guys. Miss my New York beef steak. I was lovely. I know her since I'm what, a, Lenny, a kid. Who, Dawn Bryan? Dawn Maria Demi. How, when's, where is she? I know. She used to babysit me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Really? That's yeah. so funny. Like. We're doing the bikini hot tub show. We're all doing the bikini hot tub show. Yeah. Don't. Okay. A bat. Ooh, okay. very good, April. That's hot. 
Yep, Joe and Sue, you guys have to wear your bathing suits. Victor Salino, what's up, Victor? You have to wear your bathing suits for that show. Once again, shout out my Brooklyn brand, Willie DeMayo. Um, I'm ready for Lucci Love when you're ready. Message you want to sell. Yes, I will definitely, Rita. I'll be ready in... I know, I used to babysit him. I know him since he was born. I tried Dawn. Dawn Marie. What's up, Dawn? I feel sorry for you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's a handful. Um... No suits. We want ratings. Oh, we're doing naked jacuzzi? Oh, God. We're going to be naked in the jacuzzi. That's going to really... That will be the X-rated version. You guys, how do you burn? Um, yeah, Rita, I will... I just want to pay off a little more of my car, and I'll be ready in December. Love you, the, Dawn. The Winterfest in December. Willie DeMayo, MyBrooklynBrand.com, WiseGuyWear.com, WiseGirlWear.com. Okay, okay, so let's get back to the riddle. Nick Del Rey, Michelle Francesco. We gotta get the riddle. Everybody. April said a Bingo. table. Come on. Hard, when you hit it, it makes noise. Aww, thank you so much, Rita. Varies in size, and the hint is got wood. Jessica, you are very welcome. Thank you for requesting me. Um... What's up, Jessica? How are you? So, You're very welcome, Jess. Thank you, Christy. See you soon. All right. Love you. So, the answer Joe is... Set a hard on. <laughs> the answer is good. The answer is... Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. The answer is a... A gavel. The judge hits the gavel on the... The other thing. <laughs> What's the thing? My cousin Vinny, the gavel. G A V E L. The gavel. You gavel. guys know. Oh, come on. The judge's tool. You guys should have got that. I'm telling you. All right, ladies and so gentlemen. Remember, coming up in 20 minutes, we have Derek Florin in the house. That's right. Monday, um, Monday Madness. Monday Madness. Lucas Florin. Lucas Florin, Derek Florin. They play some really cool stuff. Okay, so now it's time for... Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you so much. This is really... You know what? My favorite. I came up with this. at me and makes fun of me. I came up with this. And uh, Luchi, Luchi was really like... Excited. Excited about it because she gets to, to learn you know, a lot of, lot of things. And I really... I do. I really I do. love this because I learn also. Believe it or not, I really get to learn a lot as well. Yes. So it's fun. This it's fun segment, segment. This segment is really an awesome segment. Andy Palmieri, what's up? And it's called Things, Things That, that Make, make you, you Go. go. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen. Who first did that? Arsenio Hall, right? Uh, I don't know. Yes, yeah? it was Arsenio Hall. Really? Okay. From the 80s, though, I think, right? I don't know. Yeah, because I saw reruns on Prime Video. <laughs> I get to see everything. All right. They. Our let's our viewers. Things that make you go hmm. hmm. Tell us if you, because I think I was a little too young, but I think it was the Arsenio Hall show. I'm it's, really sure. it's called the Sound Block. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Things that make you go hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. How this works is looking for the false. Yes. Tell us which one is false. We're gonna give sure. you multiple choice. A, a B, B or and C. C. Tell us which one is false. You guys ready? Are you ready? Things that make you go. Here we go. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. A hummingbird weighs less than a penny. A hummingbird weighs less than a penny. A. A. That was A. B. A dog's sense of smell is stronger than an ant. C. Children grow faster in the spring. So Once again, last time I'm gonna read it one more time. Hey, a hummingbird a. weighs less than a penny. Okay, Lenny. B, <laughs> a dog sense dog sense of smell is stronger than an ant. Good. And C, children grow faster in the spring. Okay, what is which the one is false? Which one is false? A, B, or C? A is the hummingbird. B is the dog sense of smell. C is the children grow faster. Things that make you go, hmm. hmm. Which one is it? Okay, Joe said B. I'm going to give a couple of, like a minute to see everybody sign in. Okay. April said, oh my God. <laughs> That's not an answer, April. Dawn Brian said C. Okay. 
Okay, so we got a B and we got a C. And we got an A. Okay. April said A. Okay, give so me which one is Vita false? said C. Which so one is which one false? Is false? A, a hummingbird answer. weighs less than a penny. Yes. B, a dog's sense of smell is stronger than an ant. C, children grow faster in the spring. And <laughs> Joe, Joe, said, Joe said April's still surfing porn. Oh my God, you're too funny. Joe, I think that's what you're doing, Joe. <laughs> um, Jocelyn, right. what's up, Jocelyn? So we're going to give the answer in 10. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. The answer is B. A dog's sense of smell is stronger than an ant. It's actually reversed. An ant's sense of smell is stronger than a dog. Wow, very Which interesting. Which is interesting because I thought dogs' like sense of smell was... Hmm. See, I learned. Very interesting. So that's it. When you see an ant, hmm. you know they smell you from a mile away. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they're normally on you, too. I promise you good price. I'll say we are cousins. Aww, thank you. Aww. Nice. What are you guys drinking? <laughs> April goes, Joe, go drink. <laughs> what are we drinking? Show me what we're drinking. Oh, what are we drinking? Lenny Who's gets it? a discount too. Lenny has an Hammer Mercedes as the Explorer. Juggernaut Hillside Cab. We are drinking. In honor of Discovery Channel's Serengeti, which is an awesome channel. And it's a family it's event. Good. Every Sunday, 8 p.m., this is a hillside cabernet, has a lion, which is me, and the lioness is her, and maybe a wow, a cougar and cheetah. Cougar. I, I like, love I love cats. I think I'm more of like a tiger. Vintage 2017. I'm a tiger. No. Is there, are there girls? I'm a teddy bear. They're female tigers? Like Elvis said, let there me be a teddy tigers? bear. I don't want to be guess. a lion, because lions do, do, do. play too uh, rough. <laughs> Uh, Richie Aguzo, what's up? All right. I'm Elvis on the brain. All right, here we go again. A, a bullfrog is the only oh, animal that never sleeps. Okay. B, elephants can jump. C. And C, despite its hump, a camel has a straight spine. Cool. So, A, a I'll do it. A, yeah. bullfrog, a bullfrog yeah. is the only animal that never sleeps. That's A. B, elephants can jump. Why are you going to give that to me? See, despite its hump, a camel has a straight spine. You were going to pour that in mine? April. A, B, or C, which is I false. love cheetahs. Oh, I'm I a love cheetah. cougars. I love lioness. I love cats. I think Rita said it's B. It's all about the wow. B, I want to be, wait, let's do something sexy. What? What's a sexy animal in the woods? In cheetah. The, in cheetah the, is in the sexy. Ooh. I want to be a cheetah. A cougar. Ooh, cougar. I don't want to be a cougar because that sounds like... Jaguar. Well, what? I did date a guy 10 years longer than me once, so I yes. probably could be a cougar. Okay. All the young guys always go after me. You're right on the mic. I know, like, but it's not... <laughs> um, a a bull, A, a bullfrog is the only animal that never sleeps. B, elephants can jump. C, despite its hump, a camel has a straight spine. Okay, A, B, or a C. A, B, which or C, everybody. One Let's see. is false. Tell us which one is false. Um, okay, April said B. Dawn said B. Joe said C. Let's see. Reader said B. And Richie, what's up, bud? Here. Black Panther. Oh, I want to be a oh, Black yeah. Panther. I want to be a pan Panther. No. Panther. I think cheetahs See, are the hot. Bronx comes out of me and I say, The cheetah, Panther. ooh, man, cheetah's hot. I'm gonna be a cheetah because it's leopard. Cheetah's sexy. Yeah, that's hot. Cheetah, All right, I'm a cheetah and you're the lion. Cheetah's hot. I'm definitely lion. I like to be the sexy animal. Okay. You know what I love? I have to tell this, actually. Yeah, we're gonna, so it's A, B, this. or C. What is the answer? I have, I have to tell this story. It's so awesome. Wait, can I do 10? Yes, nine, yeah. All right, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3. Two and one. The answer, answer is, is B. Number. Elephants cannot jump. They can't jump. So that is false. <laughs> Elephants cannot jump. So So who was right? Dawn was right. Rita was right. April was right, of course. And April. Oh wow. Joe, you were wrong. Joe, you were wrong. Joe likes goats, April said. Lenny likes sheep. <laughs> so listen to this, guys. This is pretty awesome. Uh oh. I never know what he's gonna say. No. So I was watching Discovery Channel and the Serengeti. Uh, yes. And so the lioness 
course, mm -hmm. they had cubs, right? Mm -hmm. So they had four, they had four cubs. And they had to feed them. I saw the one. I'm going to watch two tomorrow. Can, I mean tonight. Can listen? I'm sorry, okay. buddy. Right. I'm don't just saying. Don't interrupt. Okay. All right. So, I'm gonna eat. That's so right. I'm gonna the lioness have four cubs. So they're protecting their cubs from one lion, right? Mm -hmm. You ready for this? So the first show, okay, the, the lioness uh -huh. and her sister are protecting the cubs. Right. I saw that. All right. Guido, what's up, Guido? My man, he does mortgages, Guido Fava. My brother. What's up, Guido? So listen, so you ready? Yeah. This is so this is so intriguing to me because you're gonna see the transformation. And I was like, what? Okay. So lioness are protecting their cubs. Right, I saw that. Okay. So the lion is coming closer and closer. And the lioness and his, and her sister are protecting the cubs mm -hmm. and they keep on moving back moving back right throughout the whole i'm talking about the whole show last week's show yes this week's show the same thing right yeah all of a sudden you hear the narrator say okay the lion's coming in and the lioness is going to show him that she, you know, he's not. That was this week's show. Yeah, she, she's yeah. not. She's not going to be scared of the lion. Right, right, right. So she goes up to him, right? And what does she do? I didn't see this week's hat. She lays right on her back. So she wants to. She lays right on her back, and says, "You know what? I'm being submissive to you because I know you're going to eat my cubs. So guess what? Have me." So unbelievable. Did she get killed? No. <laughs> Honey. They did it. Oh, they In got the sick. Wild? Yeah. Oh. He was, she was submissive oh. to him. Oh, okay. I thought she was giving herself, like, for him to, like. She was submissive. So oh, all the okay. time she was showing her teeth, showing her teeth, showing her teeth, right? Right, right, right. And proving okay. to him that she's it. not scared of him. Right. She's so, not scared so she to had, protect the so cubs. So she gave it up to give save the cubs. Exactly. Good thing. That's it. That's what you gotta do for your children. So you gave, so she gave it up. <laughs> she, gave it. she gave it up to see. And her cubs. sister now, and her sister now was involved. They had a threesome. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. so the lion okay. did his thing with the lioness, it, and then he went with the sister. And then oh. the sister was right there licking, you know, licking there the. There goes that lion. No, no, licking, licking the, you know, the other lioness and protecting her. Okay, cool. But they had the four. Well, again, freak out. But how? But how crazy is that? That's crazy. Like I was so intrigued like, by I that. I thought you were gonna say that she gave because I watched last. Joseph week. Josephine Baker. I watched last week and they were getting attacked. <laughs> Joe said, "Let me watch. They watch it again." Yes, we know. Uh, Rita, it's actually pink. Yeah, it's a pink dress. I got it on Ven at Venus. We know what's up, my brother. Shout it out, brother. Shout out your mortgage company. Joe said, Lucia, you say I have a dirty mouth. <laughs> Joe, Joe, you have to watch it because <laughs> this to me is 100% nature and it's so beautiful. Now, if you really like cats, I watched like last I week, but I'm going to watch this week. Like, I'm, I'm a lion. So I'm like, and, You're a lion. and, and I'm like, and I wow. am, and, and, you know, know, what's really awesome too is that. It's amazing to me how, like a lion or a lioness, could be scared, right? Of yeah. Of, they just kill. They just kill like something, right? I know. To hold on, to feed, to feed their cubs, right? I know. All of a sudden, the hyenas come, right? Yeah. And they scare the 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 lioness away. Right. So and they his sister. The zebra. They hate the zebra. No, it's like that was last week. But I'm saying like it's crazy. It's, I no, know, they, survival of the fittest. But 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 here's the best part: the buffalo aren't afraid of nothing. So, not because they have. So they were. How about the what do you call? It? How about the uh, the ostrich where they? I didn't see this. They this just hatched that. all their their babies. I didn't see this. Hold weekend. on, they just Aww. they hatched all their babies, and the hyenas were trying to get the babies. Guess what? There was two ostriches. A male and female, really, and the male was proven to the female that while she could. while she was sitting on the eggs. That's hot. Guess what? That, that I can do my thing. That she's the that he's the boss. He's the boss, and he'll 
scare away the hyena, and and he, and he kept the, but the hyena was the mother. The hyena, so the, the, the mother hyena had to prove to the whole group that she could get the food. Right. But no, the ostrich was like, oh, forget about it. She, he meant business. You know what I... Because he wanted to prove to... And oh, and the same thing with the elephants. The elephants were awesome. I love the How elephants. they have to fight for the woman. The two males yeah. have to fight for the woman. So they go at it, and you see part of the ivory in the, in the, in the uh, tusk. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's very intriguing. Week, you guys week. have to watch this called Serengeti. Next week show it, is from the Bronx Zoo. <laughs> it really is Where awesome. Are the new T-shirts coming soon? Letting a line. Only six minutes left, kids. When are the new? Um. Show? Very sh next week's mm -hmm. show from Joe. You have to watch it. It's My so brother intriguing. was laughing at me last week because we watched it together. Yeah. And I was getting so upset because. Animals were getting killed for other animals to survive, and I yeah, couldn't yeah. take it because mm -hmm. I don't like anything to die or any anything to get well, hurt. Well, the snake, the snake. Got I know, the, uh, I know, I saw yeah. that. So I was getting really upset, and I told my brother. My brother goes, "Oh, you can't, you can't watch this. You can't watch this." I said, "Why can't they eat like grass and trees and bushes and stuff?" It's amazing the behind the scenes footage of how yeah, of that, how that. they had the cameras. And the lions actually come right to the camera. And it's, it, it's amazing. You can actually see the flies on the... I know, it, I saw that. The, fly, the flies kept going on the lions. It's, and un yeah. it's unbelievable. It really is pretty awesome. Okay. So, so ladies and gentlemen. We are three minutes to nine. And I guess we are... L&L terminology. L&L terminology. What yeah. do you want to do? I have... Did you just... Wasn't there something that she just said? Um... Oh, we song. are going to use April's word there this week because April is one of our rock star listeners yeah, viewers, and viewers. Yeah. Yeah. So April, I think Lucia your... likes to play with the mic. What are you trying to say, Lenny? You play with the mic a lot. <laughs> play with the mic. You play with the mic a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny. Go ahead. Lenny's getting dirty. This is a family show, Lenny. I forgot to text someone back two hours April, ago. April, we're going to use... Elizabeth, what's up, Elizabeth? You we're, would know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he would know. Okay. Uh, we're going to use April's word in honor of April. We're I don't know what terminology is. Our terminology is yum malicious. Yum malicious. So, yum malicious. Use it in a sentence. Use it in a sentence. Which you again. We're honoring April. Good. Um, I you had know. mint chocolate chip last night. Mint chocolate chip ice cream last night, and it was yum malicious. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead, Lenny. I tasted um, the yeah. chia last night. It was yummy. No. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it was your boy. finger, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Joe said April is yum delicious. All right, Grace. Anne Marie, what's up, Anne Marie? As you can see, we're on Facebook Live and we're not in the car driving. Yes, but I gave you, I bought you that thing, and you never Ladies used it. Ladies and gentlemen. You never used that thing. Show like number that. 20. Lenny. Is finished. He got you that thing. Thank you so, so much. So you can be safe. So. All right. So, show uh, number 20 is finito. And we need to put this AC on before we both die. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And we'll get, so ladies and, and gentlemen. I'm going to take care of that other situation tomorrow. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen. What an awesome show. We thank you once thank again. Thank you so much. I'm going to start, and then she'll finish. Okay, go ahead, Lenny. want to thank everybody um, once again for, you know, this is the 20th show. This is pretty no, awesome. So this is it. this is a staple in uh, the Strip Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show um, And to think books. it all happened because of my big mouth. Yeah. I guess so, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for hanging in there with us. Um, it's only going to get better. Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, it's Bikini so funny. Bikini show on the. On it's so the crazy show. because two hours goes by really fast. It does. And we're gonna add some more segments, more creative <laughs> segments. I mean, guys, listen to me, and listen to us. Email us. Let us know. Zazradio@gmail.com. Stripped R R I T S at gmail.com. We want to make our show better. How do we do it? We love the constructive criticism. Tell us what we could do to make our show better for each and every one of you, okay? Uh, we love you guys, and as always, can't go wrong by doing the right thing. 
and always remember from one day to the next, you never know who you're going to meet and how the person's going to change your life forever. I've met some really beautiful people, including Lucia. And, um, There's nobody like me. I'm one and, of a kind. And, and, uh, <laughs> and you, and you all true. included. Um, I mentioned it, and I will finish off with this. Stay tuned for clothing brand. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to... I'm going to introduce a clothing brand very shortly. I'm ecstatic about this. Um, it's something I always wanted to do. Uh, it's probably going to happen within a month or two months. And uh, I wanted to mention this because this is a really exciting project of mine. And, uh, of course, Lucia is going to be involved as well. And um, we're throwing some names around. And I'm, re I'm really excited because you know what? It's going to be a really awesome brand. Yes, stay tuned to strip t-shirts yes. and hats. Um, and some really cool apparel coming soon, and Zaz Radio stuff as well. We're going to be selling on our website. And we have to thank, once again, our sponsor for this evening, Cafe Classico, 887 Midland Avenue, Dominico and, and Antoinette. Antoinette. Thank Love you so you much. Taste of Italy. You guys have to check it out. The food, the drinks, the vibe. It's like... I'm telling you, you go in, you have the cold antipasto, the hot antipasto, the drinks are awesome. They have a nice cappuccino, cannoli. cannolis. <laughs> they have everything. And I'm telling you, once you step inside, you're going to really love this place. Yeah. So check them out. Tell them that, of course, Lucia and Lenny sent you, Lenny and Lucia sent you, from Strip Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show, starring us, and City Yonkers Zone, DJ Lenny Sanawaso. ZazRadio.com, of course, Facebook.com backslash ZazRadio, Instagram ZazRadio, and new Strip Live Raw Radio interactive talk show. Subscribe to it. And of course, we always have to shout out Frankie Hudak. Yes, love Frankie. Coming soon, Rock and Comedy Hour. Frankie Hudak's Rock and Comedy Hour. And Monday through Friday, the Flashback Work Mix, <laughs> Dance Classics and Freestyle. Check out our friend Magicus. Shout out to Richie De Prima. Uh, and Magicus has some really awesome music on our flashback work mix, dance classic and freestyle. And Joey Action, Joseph Julian, Maria Elena Venuto as well, okay. Angela Venuto, Lisa Messina, or Amy Forgioni, some really awesome people. We want you guys to check out Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And, uh, it, it really takes you back. It really, you know, you, you listen to this music and you think to yourself, Music always takes you back. Where was I when I heard this song? Everybody knows. Music is so. just like inspirational. So, ladies and gentlemen, Antonio, what's up, Antonio? Where's Antonio, my oh, buddy? Oh, shit, what's up, Brad Cohn? What's my up? My dancing partner, Felicia, Antonio. Dawn. So, get ready for Derek Florin. Monday Man is coming soon, okay, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Lucia. Finish it off. I, I'm going to be really short and sweet. God bless. Because that's what I am. <laughs> I just want to say I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for making our dreams come true and tuning in every week to watch us and hang in there with us as we travel through this. Uh, each and every week, our show is going to get better and better. God bless you all. I love you all. Keep loving your heart. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Thank you so Ciao. much. Ciao. I got a little. I got Ciao. A little. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao from Strip Live Raw Radio Interactive Talk Show star Lady Lucia. That's Lucia. right. The pink flamingos <laughs> with the pink pants. Good night, guys. Show Thank number you. 20. And it's a wrap. Wrap. I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. I have to move the whole thing. It's a wrap. Until next wow. week, everybody. We love you. It's a wrap. Ciao.